magazines. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. Uh, I'm Mike. Joining me is Dennis. I'm Dennis. We got Bill. Hi. And we got Tony. I'm the Spice Lord. Oh, <laughs> I saw that video. It was nice. Yeah, you, I'm the Spice Lord. Spice Lord. Uh, we were watching the chat on Twitch, Mixer, Twitter, and YouTube. So you want to say hello, say hi. I know a bunch of you are saying that. What's up, Kim? Yeah. What's up, Beardy? Theo? Kim, Yo, what's up? Good morning. Road, uh, Road Kill, War Kill Warlord. Warlord. Wow. Wow, that's cool. So he yeah. actually presented a question to us, and it was every time you say hello. That was a, that was a different one. Oh, was it? Who that was, was like that? Demon. It was like Demon. Oh, Master Lucifer it was like a million dollars, but every time someone every time someone says hi. Oh, hold on a second. Are, are we currently making a deal with the devil if we... Wait, do I have to that? pay a million dollars, or do I get a million dollars? I think you get a million dollars, but every time someone says hi I might pay a million to you, for that. Yeah. you get tackled by the rock. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. So are we saying like just the exact word hi, or are we talking about like, hey, yo, uh, what's up, or things like that? I feel like I could, I could really monetize beyond yeah. a million dollars on the rock tackling me. I would I, probably would rather get hit by a rock than getting tackled by the rock. Oh man, he is more beefy than he was back then. This WWE I could days. I be like, yeah. I bet you twenty grand the Rock's gonna run in here in just a minute. Yeah. And be like, what? And I'm like, hello. <laughs> Hang so, on, let me get my my Instagram live going. Yeah. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what this is, this is taken around. This is episode episode twelve. Uh, we talk about a bunch of new tech news and gaming news that's happened throughout the uh, the weeks. Uh, we answer your questions. We have a Discord, so please join it and ask your questions, and we'll answer them live on the uh, the show and submit your build pictures. We'll go ahead and show that off uh, on the show as well later today. There are build pictures? There's yeah, build pictures. pictures. Yeah. I got some good ones. I bet you do. So That's I'm gonna leave big, this up to you guys since we there is so much to right cover there. today. What do you guys think we should do first? Questions, build pictures, or should we get to the news? I don't want build pictures. <laughs> Let's crank out some news while we're getting heated up in here, all right? right. Yeah. Sounds good. So right now we're just watching the keynote from uh, Google's uh, Stadia. Yeah, GDC. Yeah. It was a GDC talk. Yeah. It's Estrada. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it right. You're pronouncing it it's wrong. It's Stadia. It's Stradia. Stradia? No, I'm, no, just, you're, I'm, you're I'm totally just me. destroying it. Now the weather with Tony, guys. Yeah. We have a high pressure system moving in currently. I uh, expect temperatures to go up. You're pretty good at that. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Traffic yeah. and weather on the fives. And with sports, we've got Dennis. I don't like sports. Thank <laughs> you, Dennis. <laughs> I don't know the news. So uh, <clears throat> I think we've this this subject has been beaten down to death. And you even mentioned it too while we were doing the weight screen. But uh, uh, anything, do we really want to add anything further as a Google I, thing? I think my only take is I think everyone, like, I've kind of said this before, but Everyone keeps trying to compare it to like Xbox or PlayStation or PC gaming. And you know, I think that the real the real test is is like how they can sell games to people that don't play games and don't have access to consoles or PCs, right? Yeah. When I think of Stadia, I think of like, you know, my six year old nephew that wants to play Fortnite and no one's gonna buy him a four hundred dollar Xbox because he's six. Yo game. Right? Yeah. But but I could see my sister giving him a ten dollar Google Play card so that kid can go nuts in Fortnite for a month. You know what I mean? Like I can see that. Like I think really this is about making you know, there's 40, 50 million PlayStations in the world, probably half as many PC game gamer games in the world, and like thirty million Xboxes. I think but Stadia you... is about making the other, you know, half a billion people in the world, uh, into like casual gamers you know I, I think i think this is a pipe dream that's been around since since on live since, mm -hmm. since yeah. cloud gaming and it's been it's been always just just next year it's going to be the one it's going to be the, the phantom gaming console these are all ideas they're big ideas they everyone wants it to happen but i unfortunately i think particularly for the us we just don't have the bandwidth and because we're so spaced apart, only certain areas have that Google yeah. Fiber thing. So. Yeah, you, you can't you can't get the, the speeds there. And, and yeah. if you don't have the if you don't have the speeds, it doesn't matter. It, it, sure, it works for like a handful of people at a time. But if you truly want to like convert an audience, a big audience, like a console gaming audience, to this, you'd have to have that speed. And, and the I, speed costs more than the actual console does. I agree. It is doing a positive, which is providing a wider range of access. But I think. Yeah. Uh, People who are blowing this out like it's gonna be the console and PC killer. It's not. Yeah, I think it's not for... now. It is, but this is a, inevitably where it's going. Yeah, I think yeah. it's a first step. I think, honestly, I think what you're gonna see is people that don't even know they're using it are the people that are gonna use it, right? Yeah. Like the people you know now that Facebook game and you play, you know, online slot machines and like all these games that we don't even know about that the majority of people play 
are the people that are going to find a game on Stadia they like and get free access to it or, you know what I mean? And those are like, and they're gonna have, you know, 200 million freaking people on Stadia all playing whatever Candy Crush 2020, <laughs> right? And we're all gonna be like, yeah, see Stadia failed because you can't put Call of Duty on it. But you know, the audience for Call of Duty is so much smaller than the casual audience that doesn't care about latency, that doesn't care about, yeah. you know, ping. Well, right? yeah, it's definitely not gonna be like a competitive online type of situation. Yeah, but no games way. like Spider-Man, Assassin's Creed, you know, probably not Rockstar because that's those are pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, even like sports games, like really, mainstream games that you see on commercials right now on on regular cable tv are mm -hmm. going to be what that's, is going to take off i mean think that's of, a problem with this okay. industry we're at right now is that is there's, there's just too many different stream services there's mm -hmm. too many different ways to get games you know and, and what's even, going on motorboat even games uh, as we know it have, have changed none of us none of us have a cd in our systems uh -huh. anymore we, no all of us have accepted that we no longer need to have physical media hell even we uh, just download it everything's downloaded yeah that seems yeah. crazy yeah. now like going to a store and buying a dick's disc seems just so stupid we right still now do it for it's consoles it's arcane yeah, yeah. No, I, I know but yeah yeah, yeah. The consoles and that's gonna and that's gonna change mm -hmm. I, I would figure i would have figured that the pc audience would be less likely to change than the console audience would because console audience just goes with whatever is available yo sizable yeah. ship but they're they're the holdout now on on CD media and and honestly I don't I don't think we're gonna see a future Xbox or PlayStation with with optical audio uh, media like yeah. that. It's gonna be flash well, or USB. I've thought for a long time that they should make consoles with a um, where games are on like thumb drives mm -hmm. and and retailers just have a kiosk. Isn't that cheaper? Them. Isn't that like cheaper now? Yeah, where you yeah, bring like a th disc. It'd be like a swap it thumb drive thing where sure. you stick a thumb drive in, it loads the game onto that thumb drive. I mean, and Nintendo just experimented that, uh, with that with SD cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, for, uh, was it for the uh, the 3DS and then the Switch? <laughs> I don't know. Which, yes, I don't know. Black Cat, yes. I don't know what Cat's talking about. I don't, that, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, watch that. You know, yeah. I, I definitely did not imply that we go to the store and, and buy, buy female or male genitalia. That's when I almost said discless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a little sad. So if you want to read more about uh, Stadia, since we don't want to jump too much into it and uh, you want all the details, Google, uh, our buddies at Game Create did a really good rundown. Yeah, it's a it's, it's like... a mildly clumsy first attempt at what's inevitably going to be our future. Oh my god, yeah. Fortnite god. The We're god also... of Fortnite's here. Wow. Are you listening to the Tech Yeah podcast? Uh, I think the last you know gaming episode. Honestly, these guys have a really good take <laughs> on the on tech news and what's going on in the, uh, wow. the gaming industry. You should Damn, really check out their dude. Podcast. It's really good. Like and subscribe. We have an okay subscribe. take. That's, what I, that's how I'd say it. Yeah. But speaking of uh, games on services... This is uh, one of which I'll flip the table. The Apple Arcade. <laughs> oh, I, want to, I want to get so mad at this. All right, here. Let's, let's put something on loop here as we look at this. Mm -hmm. But the Apple Arcade was a uh, something they announced recently where you can pay a subscription to play games on your Apple products. The same dumpster mobile games. And it's the same <laughs> mobile games. But who's this for? And that is a good, I thought of that question. Yeah. Okay, who here owns an iPhone that you play games extensively on? Yeah. We're different, we're not, the, it's we're not, not who is this for, okay, it's right, who fine. is it not for? Fine, all right, yeah. so you're thinking maybe like kids or like maybe like, a- Yeah, I mobile can, games can for sure, moms. dude. I can tell you for sure I have I have a tablet at home that's Apple and I use that on a daily basis for my babies for for all of her baby games so that she can watch like the YouTube you know so that means the channel. mom or the dad's gonna pay ten dollars however much this is a month so that they can play their free Apple games I, I, I honestly wouldn't doubt it mm -hmm. when you think about like like a, an, an iPad service because a lot of games a lot of games are not are not free they're monthly subscriptions so if, mm -hmm. if they they already established that through smartphone audiences that that it's okay to pay 3.99 a month it's okay to pay 14.99 a month in some cases yeah. for a smartphone game which to me is oh my insane. god are we on the home page oh my god fortnite thank you so much for letting us know yeah. welcome all to our uh, our mixer viewers would you the prefer mixer? god or fortnite yeah <laughs> should we just call him god Hello, at god. this point <laughs> god 2744 thank you god <laughs> uh but i mean it's I don't see uh, Apple Arcade succeeding as it thinks it may succeed. You know, they're putting a lot of I, attention. I think it will succeed. You think I so? think it's going to crush it. Yeah, it will, I think. I will oh, say it will, it will succeed in the way that that Apple has succeeded in its own gaming. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and yeah. that's 
unfortunately, the, the, the breakdown that we have is we're all PC gamers in here. Yeah. We see a very limited range of gaming. But when you look at like the millions and millions of extra players that are, that are playing on their smartphones, a lot of times we don't even just regard them as, as gamers. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. You know. there, it's, I mean, it's no different than playing Solitaire on the John. You know, I mean, it's... Yeah. I like this question. I think what is happening yeah. is, I think the reason this is happening is because they're not succeeding in gaming right now. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they make a lot of money, but I think that the, the real issue is they're not growing that... And they've kind of yeah. said as much in the announcements around this is that the ways to monetize and the ways to... Uh, to sell games <laughs> on the Apple Store or on the Play Store, uh, just, just they've really <laughs> lost control of the conversation there, right? Like they can't, they don't know how to feature content effectively. Uh, they don't know how to convince people to purchase games for a premium price. Look at that fake ass uh, Zelda. And that's kind of what this is trying to combat, right? It's like how do we, how do we get more than four dollars annually out of our average customer, right? Yeah. Uh, is is kind of I think the goal of this. And uh, and I just don't know. I don't know that people care enough. I think people see phone games as um, as kind of free things. You know what I mean? And yeah. and maybe one will convince them to pay a premium. But you know, I think the reason that that like Xbox Game Pass can succeed is because there's a, a value add. You're getting a sixty dollar game, and you're like, oh, I can sneak in and pay ten dollars a month to play the sixty dollar game. I just don't see you being like, oh, I can pay ten bucks a month to play this three dollar game I really like. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, that's yeah. where I see it becoming. Uh, and yeah, writing's right. Everything's becoming a subscription. Oh, service. for sure, everything's yeah. gonna be a subscription. Service. But people, but I mean, it's the Apple sheep that will. If Apple puts a nice little package around an idea or a product. There's going to be a crap load of people buying it. I just don't think let that me, they're God. interested in this. Let me say it this way. <laughs> how, how, like much of, how many of us here have a subscription service for, for a TV platform? Uh, Netflix or, yeah. or HBO Go. I got Netflix. Or Prime or any any other platform that's available right now. You know, no. how, how many of us are, are contributing but to that's because, a, a Twitch streamer? That's the because the way? competing product is far more expensive. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like, but but there's there's a Netflix. there's a built-in audience of Apple users already that own multiple layers of Apple products that that are already they have already bought into the Apple I'm, TV experience and now they're just moving it into a Netflix style. I've joined into the bill system. side of this conversation where the Apple fanboys are going to pay. I just yeah, think that no. they're not going to... I don't think there's enough of a value perception for this for people to really See? adopt in whole. Like, yeah. yeah. In mass. You know what I mean? I think Netflix, you see a very strong value perception. I think something happened to Theo right now. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to you, Theo? <laughs> You're right? I think, you know, because cable was That's costing gonna you... That's going to be amazing if it, if it looked yeah. right. It, look, at, look at how it does in the preview. Yeah. Cable was oh, wow. costing you That's so a month. weird. You know, like, like, all these things that we subscribe to now, we do so because it's, it seems like a value. Like, the perception is I'm paying less... Because cable was so much more a month, or buying games retail is so much more a month, and I feel like this is the one time where it's gonna be like, oh no, this is more expensive than the products themselves. Yeah. Were. Unless, but and this is where Apple has an advantage in potentially oh, in Everything developers. About this ad right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, I hate I hate it so much. But they they have at least with their like Apple TV stuff, they dumped a lot of money into is- into hiring a lot of the best creators for that side. And if they get enough developers on board with this, the the slightly higher price and you know lack of a you know cost advantage of doing this mm-hmm. can be made up by content, like HBO was when it first started, where you are, you're paying for better stuff even though the alternative is maybe cheaper. It's I understand not as what good. you're saying. I just don't think that perception exists. In developers, that, yeah. I don't think people see mobile yeah. as premium. That, that, that I think that's the whole thing. They my, see it as non-premium. My my biggest. My biggest hurdle with 2019, and it's been for a few years now, is exclusives and having so many different platforms. Like, like, uh, what's the Epic Games right now? That this, uh, oh, uh, Detroit, um, Metro, uh, Metro, uh, Metro, Detroit, and no, then, no, yeah. there, there's the, the 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 new Fallout game uh, that's made uh, out. Uh, out, oh yeah, yeah, Outland, yeah. Outworld. Out, oh, what is that oh, called? Other, Outer World. Uh, other world. Outer. Yeah. Outer worlds. Outer Worlds, where where they just announced that they're they're an Epic Games exclusive. So so to have that game, you know, for me, I'm a Steam guy. I'm not going to jump around from Steam. I'm not going to jump around from Netflix because I've already committed that money to it. I'm not going to throw more money into other platforms. We've so entered, that just means I'm out that game for a year. We've entered in the mindset and era where 
I agree with Hornet. People look at exclusives as it's just hurting the gaming experience at this time. You know? I honestly don't even mind exclusives. Like the thing I don't like about Epic is just the way they're doing it. Like, yeah. like buying them off existing. It's like they're going to Target and buying every product and then selling them out front of Target and be like, become my customer, right? Yeah. It's like it's so shady. It's so shady. Like if you want to <laughs> establish these deals, like, like you know, I don't mind when Sony. Yeah. Pays to make God of War, yeah, and then yeah. releases it on their platform. Like it's this is ours. It's their first party thing. Yeah, yeah, like, we bought it. We put money into it. We put effort into it. We made this, it's and it's you, ours. Yeah. yeah, it's when you snatch it off an existing <laughs> storefront. You're like, yeah, no, that's yeah. mine now. Like I, I made this. Exclusives. <laughs> yeah, exclusives has been a part of this since Atari. Yeah. Basically, mm -hmm. I mean, all you know, every every console, every platform has had some level of of game that was exclusive to it. In fact, some of the ones that are cross-platform suffer for it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like they're they're either watered down because it's a port from a console or it's, you know, it's a PC game so it's stripped of most of its features or there's some some I, downside I like to this it. question. Well, expensive. Do you think owning a gaming PC in the future would be a good investment? I think thanks, so. Yeah, thanks for the questions, Jan. And uh, Desceptus, thanks for agreeing. Yeah, How far in the future? Agree. Because if yeah. it's 15, 20 years in the future, absolutely not. If I, it's 10 years... Yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. I think there's always going to be a market for... Oh, the Soldier Boy console. <laughs> I think there's always going to be a space for people that want a premium experience and want mm. to have local high-powered hardware. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think still... that's... I still think the cloud is just someone else's computer. It is. And someone I think else. no matter what your your performance is hit for that reason, mm -hmm. and and you're just basically watching that other thing play out. The 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 latency because of that is going to ruin your experience. And uh, and if it was me, I would rather have it in my own home. Than, that, that's the know? thing. It's not like they solved quantum computing. Yeah, you're still <laughs> connecting to. A server that's basically yeah. got the same hardware sitting in it. You're correct. Right? Yeah, but it's going to get to a point where it's so fast that it's going to be it's Speaking going to be Sony. completely unnecessary to have a eight hundred dollar GPU in your house. So yeah. speak it, it'll, just, it'll just be. I don't. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it'll. Some yeah. people. Well, even right now, it's unnecessary. But some but people, I, you got to want it. You could say the same thing about transportation via bus. But yeah. most of us still want to have our car. We still want to have our freedoms to drive and steer. We don't want to have the handed by computer, and we don't want to have someone else driving us everywhere. Yeah. You know, there's always going to be a <laughs> yeah. place for that. So, so speaking of Sony, because Fatal brought up a good question, do you think Sony would, because uh, we were talking about exclusives, would sell more consoles or games if they made their made them cross platform? Uh, I no. don't think so. But it would be good for their brand because a lot of the other competitors like Nintendo and Xbox are doing it with like select games right now. Yeah. But speaking of Sony, um, much like how Nintendo has been Airplane. doing their, they've been doing their Nintendo Directs. Sony has their what is it called? The State, State of play. play. This thing was terrible. So it's basically just a bunch of collaborate, uh, a, a collection of trailers. It was mostly VR stuff. Yeah, and there's I a lot of VR a, stuff. I don't think that's very yeah. exciting. A uh, fatal to answer your question. Uh, no, I think Sony would actually do really poorly if they opened up their their games across platform they're the ones um, winning this this console well generation. i think you know it's funny I, it, I was talking to a friend over the weekend who was at sony first party and um we we're talking about how kind of sony basically did what nintendo did in the wii era um did they how well they um they completely ignored third party okay. right uh, while Xbox and everyone was like, you know, we want th we want to support third party games Give and that Assassin's Indies, Creed and be the home for all these things, they were like, we don't care about third parties. We don't care. There is one uh, one game that Sony has like a third party like agreement with. And that was Destiny. That was the only like exclusive that Sony had that was a multi platform game. Yeah. Like they literally were like, we're just gonna make the best first party games, right? Which is like the Nintendo format. That's how we sold so much. It was like you can only get these games on Wii. We make them, they're ours, they're dope, everyone has to own a Wii. You know, that it's funny, and, you don't think about it until you think about it in hindsight. It's true, because it was, there. you know, there's a lot of Sony exclusives that are really good. Yeah, so they just nail it. I mean, I think this Days Gone is the first one that's not going to, like, kill it for yeah. them. And, uh, and, you know, they really were just like, we're going to focus on making the best games on Sony. We don't really care what else happens. And that's kind of fine to have, like, a stinker here and there, you know? Like, yeah. They're not gonna, they're not all going to be AAA good titles, but damn, did they do a pretty good... Yeah, like, they they're... crushed it, and it shows in how many consoles they sold, you yeah. know? like Whatever Kim just said makes my brain hurt. Uh, well, first, hey, digital aspect. <laughs> hey, digital. Uh, hey, box. 
Uh, Kim said they say the same thing about C uh, programming language 10 years ago and it's still in use for sub uh, millisecond critical applications. Yeah. Decreasing latency is not linear. It's uh, oh, I'm not even gonna be able to pronounce that one. Uh, and logarithmic. We're hitting... What was that again? Logarithmic. Thank you. Uh, and we're hitting a limit of even 10 years from now. Yeah. Where the cloud. I 100% agree, Kim. Yeah. Cut it. 100%. Yeah. That's exactly kind that's, of that's Moore's law. That's yeah. Like... So that's exactly kind of the thing. Like yeah. no matter how much we cut down latency and improve the cloud experience. People are still going. There are still going to be the subset of people well, that require will spend the money to have well, even, a local high-powered experience. Even even with on live when it was the thing, they were only pushing for 1080p, and we're already at 4K. So yeah. The, yeah. the further down in technology we go, the more that people expect out of that same media, mm -hmm. and the, the more latency issues they're going to have because you just simply can't push that much data back and forth. We have trouble even even in our office here pushing 4k around yeah you know for live huge, streams yeah. even 1080p we have trouble yeah, yeah. and by the way uh, just 4K is a <laughs> to game on john yeah. a new uh, crash team racing game i'm saying something pretty controversial i think it's way con crash team racing is way better than mario kart i would slap your face I, it's controversial i know yeah. uh, but i honestly think it's way better than mario kart this is why he calls himself is. the spice lord yep the guy, I am Damn, the dude. least Nintendo in the room, mm. but I will say that Mario Kart is better than Crash Team Racing. That's fake. Because I've never heard of Crash Team Racing. <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> Just <laughs> going out on the limb there. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite kart racer, Bill? Yeah. Kart racer? Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't even know what that means. Uh, Mario Kart 64, I think. See, there you go. Yeah. Three Mario right. Karts, one Crash Team Racing. But yeah, <laughs> so Sony is having their state of play. Um, I guess we should be expecting more uh, more of these coming in the future, and yeah. maybe this even will replace since they're dropping out of E3 to be almost like their uh, their announcements or their own uh, their own uh, keynote type of thing. But uh, speaking of consoles, I like Lego Racer. That was the greatest yeah, kart you racer. Do. Build your own car. It was perfect. So Nintendo. Speaking of consoles, right, Nintendo is doing a. Uh, hold hands back yeah, here. We're holding hands back here. <laughs> they uh, the popcorn. <laughs> they're gonna release uh, two more Switch models, huh? Yeah, I saw this. As a Switch owner, Tony, are you uh, excited? Are you kind of like jaded? It's kind no, of. No, I don't really care. No? Honestly, like, if there's one thing Nintendo has done year after year, it's released iterations on consoles that don't matter. It's true. Right? The DS. The, had so many. Yeah, the DS had like 9 million DS's. And then the, the 3DS, 3DS had a lot. And the 3DS Plus or the new you, 3DS. They just need to standard, keep stoking the fire. Your mm -hmm. standard consoles, when they make a, a small edition or a compact edition, they make a slight change. Make yeah. it Everybody cheaper, does that. You know? Every, think, everything that, any company that makes a thing does yeah. this. Just model refreshes, car companies do yeah. it all the time. Nintendo does it way more, but their Joy-Cons are so bad. I hope they make new Joy-Cons. Those things of, are the worst. It kind of makes me sad because in most cases when there's, when there's a re boot of that same product it's because they found a way to make it cheaper mm -hmm. and they got rid of some like sound chip or video chip that's gonna like save them 40 well, they're bucks. making a yeah. cheap one and a more expensive one that's <laughs> yeah. what they're saying they're gonna release yeah one so that's maybe got... one without a uh without a one with joy cons built in and no rumble mm -hmm. is i think the cheap one and mm -hmm. then the the expensive one says something about they just know it's gonna be more power they don't not yeah. know but i actually i really wanted to get your opinion tony since you're a switch owner and uh, since you kind of don't care, I'm kind of thinking, Clown Baby! Yeah, I'm not grumpy about it. Oh, I hate Clown Baby. Clown baby. <laughs> yeah, I think this is more so they can completely phase out the 3DS and have a low-cost version for people to no. trade up to. So, I think uh, before we continue the rest of these stories, because a lot of these other ones are just sort of small in comparison to the ones we just talked about, because those yeah. are the biggest announcements, let's uh, get into some questions. Questions! Question time! We need a song to transition. It's question time, it's question time. Everyone, it's question time. What's that's, your not question? The, that's not the song I was hoping for. It's the song you got. Can you sing that song in the form of question? It's question time. I like that. Yeah. I yeah. kind of like that. So that. That we can record that one. Clip yeah. It. Someone yeah. clip that. I'm going to record right. this So uh, we got a bunch of a bunch of questions from our community. You got to so. get the jazz hands. Yeah, you're it's good. question time. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's good. All right, Beardy Baldy. If the Newick Plays crew had to do a naked and afraid style survival challenge, who would win? Follow-up question. Dennis. When will it happen? Mm -hmm. you think Dennis, Dennis would win. win. Whenever it happens, Maybe. Dennis would win. I don't. I probably have the most survival tactics, but I also don't like getting bit by mosquitoes the most. So mm. it's kind of like a win-lose in that sense. You know? Yeah, spring, spring cloud. 
A little known fact, Dennis is actually naked right now. His body is just made of Van Heusen shirts. The only problem is yeah. Dennis isn't afraid. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the big that's true. That's the big yeah, Dennis. You'd just be naked. Yeah. Yeah. I have I've been known to like patrol my, my lands so, yeah. and, and fight against bears. And naked naked and afraid yeah. is the name of my punk band we play on Saturday. When will this happen? I don't I don't know. Yeah. I don't I don't ever oh, really want to be I naked, should. I think. I'm actually afraid of seeing you guys naked. Mm. I think more than I am afraid. Oh, that's exactly. That's naked definitely. Naked. I'm yeah. afraid of seeing myself <laughs> naked. I get out yeah. of the shower like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to know. You got a towel wanna... over your <laughs> face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when is it gonna happen? Uh, yeah, probably we'll let you guys know. Yeah. Yeah. Next Tuesday, we'll film it. I will, guys... I will admit that after a while, if you watch any of those reality shows, they went from like ordinary looking people to like super hot attractive people now yeah, being naked no one wants to watch know? this yeah no one no one wants to watch you know a reality show where it's just the average dennis you yeah know? It just it's yeah. just the whole screen will just be blur yeah, yeah naked and afraid <laughs> is my life yeah. they don't need to put me on a reality show yeah. i don't need Start to broadcast that please uh do you guys play fortnite um no uh, we haven't done it in a while on the stream, but yeah. I don't personally play it. Um, I don't think you guys do it either. I used to play quite a bit, but now I'm an Apex main. Yeah. yeah. If you play Fortnite, uh, are you excited about that ball update? Yeah, what's up with the ball, yo? You know, it actually looks exciting now. What it is the look ball? It pretty fun. Yeah, it looks, I think Fortnite's going after like the fun value, which is pretty cool. Like, they have, you know, What a concept for a video game. No, I mean like, like, uh, like wacky. a kitty fun. Epic is really going after wacky. the fun. Wacky's a good The fun market. That's I, think me, I think me and Theo got two wins last night at, Fort, at Apex. We were yeah. really wrecking them. I like Apex better than I do PUBG. And I will admit that PUBG is my game. If I was going to pick any of that you know, battle royale. I'd still style. pick that one too. Yeah. Yeah. But going across all all platforms, I still think Apex has a better chance yeah. than than Fortnite. Just because Fortnite's just too silly for me right now. That's you fine. That's... It's, dude, it's... they're hammering home that that eleven year old market, dude. It's not they even... know what they want. Oh man, they're just they're just trolling the the Logan Paul comment section for, for users, sure. dude. Yeah, it's not a, it's not enough for me. It's it's a little yeah. too it's a little too Disney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will say, you know. It's not Borderlands cartoony, you know. It's, but there's it's the floor. Yeah, the floor is lava. Is another yeah. update, so that it that yeah. almost pushes the idea that it's a younger crowd, and we're just obviously not the younger. crowd. That was yeah. awesome when I was seven. I got yeah. that FOMO right now, bro. Yeah, dude. I can understand how it's popular. I can understand it's really fun for those people who play it. It's just not our game. Yeah. That's not dissing anyone who plays Fortnite. The I floor is lava they, slaps. Love what you love. They you should add like a Candy Crush mini game so you can unlock. Don't give my deals. Yeah. Don't yeah. Give my... Huh? All right. No. So Uber two. I just say stop playing Fortnite. Grow up. Unsubscribe from Jake Paul and and do something better with it. <laughs> Don't listen to Bill. And so I think Fortnite's know. actually really cool, and I think their Battle Pass is the best version of that. Yeah. In gaming right now, like their monetization method is so good. Buy that. Merch. I don't criticize any place. Buy that. Yeah. I think so it's merch. Let's go see. Uh, Uber. Buy that. Uh, merch. Uber Tuber. Buy that. Merch. That's easy. Seven. Someone's trying to read. So what does that say? Uber. Uber Tuber. Uber Tuber Seven. Mm -hmm. If each of you were going to open a bar, what gimmicks would you use to make your bar more successful? Great question. Oh, I love yeah. this. You want to go in order? Yeah, uh, it, seems like really, an, yeah, <laughs> it seems like you have an idea. Let me think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm pitching it to my inner board right now. Yeah. We're friends, Spring Cloud. We're, mine's of the same here. <laughs> Mine, um, I would let, I would have two sections of the bar okay. cordoned off, hmm. and you would sit by political ideology and argue <laughs> across <laughs> the, like wow. there'd be like a gate, like you couldn't actually touch the people on the other side. Yeah. Are they two separate bars where the bar is the dividing line and you can still see over it? Maybe oh. it'd be like a U so and like an island split, that yeah, like an island that splits yeah. it with the bar. Yeah. Yeah, and the people would just be like screaming across the and bar. The, they'd be like, the more yeah. drunk they get, the yeah. worse the conversation. The more drunk they would get. Yeah. 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 They'd be like, the Mueller's a god! And then it would flip and they'd be like, the Mueller's a god! <laughs> like, Do you have a, a name thing. for this bar? <laughs> Do you have a name for the bar? The, the name for the bar? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's called... Uh, I don't have a good name. The Animal yeah. House? Or no, animal? I was thinking something discourse, right? Like... Oh. Like... Yeah. What, Yo, about, what about Across the Aisle? Ooh, Ooh. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. Damn. Dennis, you have an idea oh, for a bar? Oh, Spirited Debate. Oh, oh, that's, that's, oh that's, I like it. Spirits that. of Debate? Yes. Ooh, something like that. Something like that. My bar would have... Uh, we did have tablets on every station, mm -hmm. and when you request a drink, so many people would go. To you would you yeah. would see your <laughs> oh, drink yeah, awesome. being made, mm -hmm. so you could actually see how much alcohol levels is being put into your drink, and then and then you oh. if you wanted to, you could like bump up. Like you want a little bit more whiskey, you want a little bit more vodka, then boom, you know. Because the one thing that always happens to me 
is I order like a Long Island iced tea, and then they they just skip me on the alcohol. That part every sounds time like a DUI. Down. And I and I would, <laughs> I would much rather be able to see if I'm getting the alcohol I'm paying for. You yeah. Know, on my tab, and then be like, okay, cool, and then you know I'll take it. You know, buy that drink. I think uh, my dream bar, or at least the bar. No, it's not a dream bar, but it would have a gimmick that would get people coming in. It would be uh, an anime bar. Uh, and the way it would work was that uh, all the bartenders, you know, have you seen those cosplayers that actually try to look like anime characters? Where they draw on their on their eyelid and their forehead because they have to have big eyes. Wow. It would bring in customers. Okay. I think oh. so. There's a bar in Little Tokyo <laughs> where they kind of cosplay at the bar. Oh yeah? I had a, there's a close down. It wasn't very popular. There's oh no, I, I gotta pull out. <laughs> I made the horrible mistake. Yeah. Okay. Take it in a phrase. All right, bar. Bill, you've had enough time to think about it. All right, so you've got an entryway that has like a velvet curtain and a little this like hostess. Way too oh, an hostess RGB stand. Bar. Hostess stand right there. You get you get checked in and you go down a dark hallway and there's it's lined with pods and this thing just goes on forever. You open up the pod, you get in it, you put out a VR headset, mm -hmm. and then you close it, and it's got like. Um, environmental you can change the environment in there you can make it hot make it cold you got air blown on you so it's like an immersive vr thing and you've got a tube that you can suck on <laughs> go in, on in the pod so you can, can you show get, us how you do it so you yeah. can get the drink so but, you got the tube in there yeah uh -huh, you got the uh -huh. headset on uh -huh. and yeah. then you've got little joysticks and then you can walk around like a a virtual like weverse kind so of lobby almost like a yeah. vr chat yeah. It's like VR chat, but yeah. you've got the booze going in through a tube, and then you interact with people. It's the Matrix pods. Yeah, that's what basically what he's describing. Yeah, right Matrix now. pods, but with the tube instead of in the back of your head, it's yeah. going in the front of your head. It's got booze in it. With booze. What are you gonna call this this bar? Mm. Mm. The, the var. The bar trick. Um. Yeah. That's fine. Graboids, yeah. I like. Bar tricks. I think, yeah. the, the I actually v, think Jack is a good bar. word in this. Like oh, Jack, Jack in. in. Yeah. Like Jack and soda. Yeah. 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 Give me a, I'll get a Jack in soda. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. It's VR all. Bar. Yeah. It's all Jack Daniels. <laughs> it's, all Jack Daniels. <laughs> it's only Jack Daniels. It's Jack just and, tubes of Jack Daniels. Yeah. Jack and ginger. Oh, they it's don't sell like, you food, by the way. Yeah. There's no food. You can't yeah, order appetizers. Virtual food. Yeah. You can buy virtual food. You can buy virtual yeah. food, yeah. It's just banana. There's stuff. another bigger tube that shoots little pretzels at you. <laughs> Is this happening like in Tokyo? Is that where you're opening your first Kind bar? of, yeah. It's yeah. gonna be in Tokyo and Austin. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. I love it. We're doing a pop-up in Minneapolis though. I will yield mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> a touring pop-up at all the malls. Yeah, Mall of America. You know what? Yeah, Speaking amazing. of VR and uh, technology on your face, uh, hmm. do you know 1998, what? what body part would you replace with cybernetics? Brain. Eyeballs. Are you kidding me? This isn't even a question. I'm getting a s super extendo. You're going to cyber dong? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, if you do your brain, none of the rest of it really matters. Oh, yeah. dude, I'm having, dude, it's going to be like hydraulically operated. Like Inspector Gadget. 100% Inspector Gadget. Gas yeah. powered. Go, yeah. go. Uh, extendo dong. All the bells and whistles. Wow. Figuratively what? and what literally. What other bells and whistles do you need? <laughs> Do you want to get into That's it? So no, I'll it's give fine. you all the. We don't have to. It's all right. We're good. What about you, Mike? Yeah. Um, I like the like a like a cyber arm would be fun. I would. That's I would, so boring would and dangerous go. too. If you don't also have a cybernetic, <laughs> my part. Uh huh. <laughs> Stay very you, dangerous. What, what are you, Stucky Row, bro? I I think everything else could be replaced at some point in the future and and be better. Mm -hmm. But I think brain is the most important because if you you have to get brain right. You know, everything else, like I, I could have, I could have other arms, I could have other legs. I won't mind being in the matrix or have some type of interface in and out of computers. But that to me is, is key. And, and then, and then if your brain is expandable, then if you could add more memory or save your memories beyond what, you know, how we hold memories right now. Mm -hmm. Bro, you're thinking great. about the wrong thing expanding. Dude. But let's be real. You're, you wasting, a, you're wasting an opportunity. If you had a do. cyber brain, you could create a perception of everything else. Like, well, couldn't you just yeah. get like a cyber eye for that? Yeah. yeah, but no, you could be like, boop, 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 and you could just see whatever you wanted to oh, see. Oh, so you, you want like, like a, boop, boop, you you like a constant AR. Whatever you wanted to feel. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, it's all it's all there. 
Makes sense. Like, you don't need the super extendo. You'd be like, yeah. it's a super extendo. And she's mega hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in reality. And everyone loves this. <laughs> and everyone thinks I am awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm being really funny right now. And you're now. like, this you're is, sitting yeah. on the, like in an alleyway yeah. with like, it's raining on you. And you're yeah. like, I'm having a great time. Yeah. And someone's walking past you going, get a job, boom. Yeah. Like, the audience of the show yeah. likes yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, yeah. it's like a, it's like a dystopian version of my bar. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm hungry. Yeah. No, wait, no, I'm full. Oh, yeah, I am full now. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. We thought about this too hard. <laughs> All right, Black Cat, who's your favorite video game character and why? That's a hard question. That's yeah. a... Because mm. I love video games. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to say it at the same time? Yeah. Same. All of us? Three, I don't two, know who mine is. One, CJ. Spain. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Sonic? No, I, th- I honestly thought that was going to be his answer. <laughs> Who'd you say? CJ. CJ from, from uh, GTA? From San Andreas. Uh, yeah. Okay. I like Max Payne. Max Payne's a pretty good answer. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. pretty good. I can relate the most to him. I was going to say <laughs> Alucard, because I like Castlevania so much. Mm-hmm. But I'll be honest, I Yon- think Joker from Persona 5 is so cool. I know none of you have played Persona 5 because it's such yeah. a weeb game. Yes. But it's so cool. I'm so excited he's coming hey, to Smash. you told me I can't use that word. Mm-hmm. Weeb? Yeah. Uh, you can't. It's our yeah. word. Yeah. That's our word. That's offensive. I it's, it. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. In fact, you shouldn't even say it right then. Roman, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Roman's up there pretty high for me, too. You are a real GTA lover. Love it, yeah. Yeah. Nico, my cousin, welcome to America. I was going to say John Marston. That's right, Theo. That's our word. That's any, our word. Tommy any, any of the characters from uh, Battlefield Bad Company, I also love. They were cool dudes. I can't remember any What's of their names. What's their names? I, was, I, was I can't remember any of them either, but that was such a great game. Yeah. God, that, was that was such fun. a good game. That, that, was, that brought like that battle fun, you know, to yeah. the battlefield. But if you can't talk about currencies in anime, you can't say weeb, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yen. Mm-hmm. Yen? Is that currency? Not current. Current season anime. <laughs> Did the you hear... yen? <laughs> thought he said, I seriously thought he wow. said currency. Dude, come on, Spice Lord. <laughs> Thank you for the question, Black Cat. Yeah. Uh, ice. Airplane. Iceman airplane. Iceman airplane. Man. How do you not know that? It's, it's, it's all capitalized. Iceman. It's all capitalized. No. I got, I, because, you know, Top Gun, airplane, because airplane. What's mm-hmm. Iceman's real name? Tom Cruise. Cru- uh, he was going to say Cruise. No, he was going to say Cruise. Cruise. Yeah. No, I, um, it's Krasinski. I was going to yeah. say, like, Krasinski. Yeah, it's Krasinski. It's all, yeah, it's Krasin- and, uh, excuse me, but Maverick is Tom Cruise. Mm. Yeah, how did you What are some... Uh, oh, they're actually having a, a sequel to that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they already, where they already finished movies. filming it. Yeah. What are some red flags you look for when meeting new people? Are we talking about like dating or just like... Yeah. I think just meeting a new person in yeah. general. Thank you for the follow, by the way, people. Mm-hmm. If, they, if they constantly buy video cards for like $50 on eBay, <sighs> that's, that's a red flag for me. Uh-huh. You know? I feel like I've brought up politics a lot, but anybody that... <laughs> When you first meet them, tells you there's like a, they, a political they... gatekeep that like, if you did this, mm. right? Like, oh, if you voted for Hillary, we can't be friends. Like, I'm just like, yeah. oh, come on, right? Yeah, like, yeah. like either way, either way. You didn't though, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. You, you, especially if that is the, the intro set. <laughs> yeah, like that's what know? I mean. Like, like I've <laughs> met people that have been like, if you yeah. did X, you're yeah. out. And I'm just like, you are the worst. I've met people yeah. who, when I first meet them, they're like, Oh hi, I'm so and so. I'm like, oh, how's it going? And they're like, by the way, I'm a little weird. Like they take pride. Oh, in that, that sucks. And they say, I'm, like, I'm oh, super random. I'm yeah. super rando, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, you're not in my circle. Any girl that embraces that they're a bitch is like, yeah. It's, come on. <laughs> God, there's just so, there's too many. I mean, this is a great question, but people that post there's inspirational just so many. pictures, mm-hmm. like it's just a quote on a box. Yeah. What was the old casino one where where if if you uh, Put her if you go to get her into your car and she doesn't unlock the door for you. Oh she's yeah. No good, you know? oh, oh yeah. yeah. I remember that forever after that point. That's so, a pretty good one. You know, especially yeah. today, if, if if you have the ease of a button to unlock your door and someone still doesn't do that for you, you know, then you're like, oh man. Yeah. This so a couple a couple of my red flags. <laughs> no airplanes. Girl wearing Birkenstocks. Or anyone in oh, Birkenstocks. Okay. Can't do that. Yeah. Well, if a dude's wearing Birkenstocks, yeah. So <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll, yeah. Hearts. Anybody in Birkenstocks. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a good red, one too. Red flag. When Fox. they tell you their life story. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Too chatty. God. Yeah, too chatty. Um, I also, if you're, if you've got way too many keys. 
that you carry around. <laughs> that's such a that's that's a, a, that's a red flag. Janitor okay. status. Yeah. yeah. Not even well janitor status, but more more of like the um. You know what that tells me? Like the lanyard. Yeah. The, yeah. Like the lanyard with like all of the keys, and it's the lanyard that that has the little buckle, the unclipping zip, zip, buckle thing. Zip, zip, zip. Not you know the what, zipper. You know what that tells me clip. is that the person. First of all, you're not using that many keys. Obviously, you shouldn't have that you many keys. Maybe so you're, you're just hanging on to stuff. Yeah, and that's some bad news. That's key hoarding. That's, or and just yeah. have like you've got your LA Fitness thing, you've got your Albertsons little thing, you got a couple of the key thing, the little, little keychain deals, and Don't just like too many, and it's like. Yeah. Can't do it. You're probably like clustery. And or maybe that's all other guys' like, houses. You know. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, this is this is Frank and Jim and Bob yeah. and Ted. Or if you love <laughs> bad comedy. Yeah. Like when people are like Big Bang Theory is my favorite show. Oh yeah. Dead to me. Like, don't even talk. I don't to care me. if you watch trashy don't shows. Even talk Especially to when me. like they admit they go, look, I know no one likes this show, but I love it and no. it's really bad. And it's like then you have bad taste. No. Yeah. If you watch yeah. the Big Bang Theory, nope. Or if they don't like good food, yeah. yeah. Or or if they don't like, like it's always sunny. Like I don't eat. I don't oh, eat that's fish. a red flag. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're wearing a cat shirt, you need to run. Oh, if they're wearing a cat shirt, then yeah. you need if to you've run. never tried sushi, but you tell me you hate sushi, get out of my face. Oh yeah, that's BS. if you've never tried anything and <laughs> yeah. say you hate it. Yeah, get, yeah, just get out of my face right now. It's like mm, I love pineapple, and they're like I hate pineapple. Well, have you ever tried it? No. Well then stop. But I don't like the smell. Yeah. yeah. Get out of my face. All right, I like my hat. If you uh, could have any uh, celebrity narrate your life, uh, who would you choose and what would they say? Yeah, easy. Who's yours? Morgan Freeman. Nah, that's too easy. Yeah, that's, that's a really, you know, yeah, dude. That's, that's a, the, the, the classic, dude, that's a broke know? ass answer. Dude. I think <laughs> I would do uh, Mickey Rourke. Real gritty, real like a real oh, kind of low bassy, kind of whiskey and smoke filled. Deadpool kind of narration. That's, that's an even better answer from Deadpool's Bucks. Deadpool's a great one. Yeah, I might go Orson Welles before he ate himself to death. Mm. I, don't, I don't know if I'd want Deadpool. She has peas as Deadpool being your voice because he would just be making fun of you the whole time. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. just like destroying. Well, destroying. you're choosing what he's saying. Yeah, but, but I guess if you if you choose him to be Deadpool, then you're kind of yeah, yeah. you're asking for it. <laughs> the guy that narrates the Stanley Parable. James I would Earl Jones a good I could choose that. Yeah. Oh, James Earl Jones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Pee Wee Herman. I like everyone else's uh -huh. answers right now. Yeah. Oh, he walked into it. Oh, that's a Kermit. Oh, Kermit. Kermit. That's my answer. She's Kermit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the guy that does the uh, audiobooks for Harry Potter. He's so good. Michael Gambon? No, uh, what's his name? Because uh, Michael Gambon would be good too. Oh, Michael Caine. Oh, Michael Caine would be good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Towley. <laughs> he walks into a room. Always bring, make sure to bring a towel. And then he walked out of that meeting very mad. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Not Talia. I'm against that. You want to get high? I'm just gonna yeah. get a little high. Shut up, the American. movie announcer. Not Talia. Be good too. Oh, the movie announcer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In a world where Dennis goes to the bathroom. Yeah. You know, just that everything would like, everything yeah. would sound more epic than it really yeah, is. Like right. he put away the towels yeah. finally after three weeks. He finds the key for his truck and starts his vehicle. It was behind the couch. How did he get back there? <laughs> yeah. I can deal with that. Yeah. Alright, this will be the last one, then we'll jump into uh, some build pictures. But uh nine, 98 eight. 35. Go and read it. Skippy. 9835 Skippy, the New Egg Plays crew has its own convention. We do. Mm. Yeah. What are the events <gasps> and attractions? Oh. Mike, I didn't want you to read that. Read oh my mind. god! Yeah. Yes, Stamper. I want Stamper to narrate my life. <laughs> okay. Well, I get to activate Mike's crush card. Oh, yeah. my crush card has been activated. All right. Just like... <laughs> yeah. It's pretty gadget over here. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, you didn't go with the bionic arm, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so what are what are the uh, events and attractions happening at our uh, our convention? Mm. Well, we're for sure going to have the Velcro suit jump onto the Velcro wall thing. That's yeah. a must. That's mm. a must. Bouncy castle. Um, we're gonna have a, a drunk bouncy castle. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have an RGB keyboard throw. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, like keyboard smashes. Yeah. But it's gonna, you know, like a discus throw, but with yeah. keyboards. Mm -hmm. Have like you ever a... been to one of those outdoor conventions where they have a trailer that you can see into and they fish in it? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, I want one of those. <laughs> yeah, we'll have we'll have one of those. We'll have a a an interview portion where we can start like doing a Q and A, but only twenty people show up. 
Because that's usually our take. Did you guys ever see the um, studio mic GP throw? When, when uh, <laughs> I think Modern Warfare 2 came out, uh, Activision like rented an area and had like a paintball arena and had a bar and had like zip lines and all like like this super like it was like the superest like bro weekend you mm. could imagine. Oh uh, yeah, I remember you know, that. Like, that would be kind of fun to have like real real life versions of games. Like we'll have a little karting area. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you that never works as well as it sounds. Yeah. Well they they had like a little like a little like it always seems like it's gonna be cool. Yeah. If you have go kart yeah. racing, paintball and like, I mean, what what else? What other? Like, not not going too crazy. Yeah, you just keep it as like we're just gonna race some go karts and yeah. play some paintball. That's fine. Yeah. By the you way, could, like, no, this is Counter Strike. We would we would have a booth. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'd be branded. You yeah. know, like it would be like a Counter Strike paintball yeah. round. You know, or I would love or, that. We would have a booth that says GTA, and then when you get there, it actually has getting over it. Yeah. <laughs> It would be yeah. just, it'd be just Grockle answering He'd questions. be like, oh my god! Oh! <laughs> yeah, Grockle teaching you how to play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. With a screen Grockle face. It says GTA and it's just a hole in the floor. <laughs> and it says jump in And here. it just like goes, takes him out to the parking lot. <laughs> Grockle at the bottom of like, Golem playing It's GTA. like a laundry chute, you land into a, like a, like a, a trash can full of like sheets yeah. and stuff. Any other GTA fans that accidentally yeah. go down the chute, Grockle's just sitting there this in, a, the in a damp dungeon. <laughs> That's pretty good. Precious. Cool. That's pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's jump into some pictures here. Uh, we asked our community to submit their bills so we can show off during the show, and you guys delivered. Oh, I hope these suck. Mm -hmm. These are the good ones first. I yeah. hope these are really bad. So, I hope these are wide shots. Uh, Hornet kind of double dipped. It was from AMX. Hornet uh, double dipped. He submitted some oh. build and some trash picks, but they were different ones. Mm. We just wanted to appreciate how old this system is yet. That is It's aww. still pretty good, according to him. That this is, is Hornet's rig? Mm -hmm. Hornet, are you here? Yeah, he's here. Can you give more? Clarification on what you meant by Man, okay. Hornet, blow out that PCB, dude. It's not that video. Like, that's well, not, what is that? No, I don't know what that. I can't be a GPU, is it? It is. It's an old mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Mem, okay. It's like a 80s. It's classic. Man, it makes me makes me nostalgic. That right there, that that Antac case. Mm -hmm. That was one of my favorite cases back in the day. This was at a school I do volunteer work for. Yeah, I love I love good old classic green PCBs. You know, yeah. that, to me that is that is the end of of like the PC era before it became gaming everything. You know, it was like the last of of the. I, I do miss the green. Yeah, I yeah. guarantee this is Hornet's workstation here at work or school. Well, and now like, I this feel is his friend. Yeah, he like volunteers. Yeah. At this, then I feel bad, like, <laughs> crapping on this build. But no, it's not the trash build. Yeah. This is on one of the good builds, so... Uh, it actually is nice for that yeah. era. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a nice case. For its time. Those are some hardcore ketchup game, and yeah. mustard uh, yeah. cables, though. Yeah, oh my god, it's everywhere. There was no cable I still, I still have some PC badges that would fit on there. There yeah. wasn't routing on these cases. There wasn't, like, a back behind the back panel, yeah. like... Hey, and this mem? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. that obviously is... Solid. Been replaced recently <laughs> compared yeah. to the rest of the PC. Looks like it. <laughs> I think those are the same the same RAM I have. Someone had an upgrade. Yeah. All right. So this is from. That's Demit. Like, are we going through like the history of Antec right now? I know. Yeah, I think so. so. <laughs> Demon, Brought to you by Antec. Demon Mitt, I think his name is. Uh, like, it's too small for me to read, but this is his own build as well. That's okay. clean. I'm actually mm -hmm. kind of impressed about this back row here. Mm -hmm. Has a little showcase of every yeah. single tech yeah. he's running. Look, Look at damning! The little thing oh, is dabbing! Yeah, there. dabbing. <laughs> you son like, of a bitch! Buy that merch. Buy that you know? merch. Buy that merch. Dude, he's infiltrated. That's some, that's some nice stuff. Pretty clean. Yeah, is he a tech tuber? Cause mm -hmm. look at that wire. Look at that cable man. It does look very tech tuby. Yeah. Replace like that though. Get that black. That, that second cable down below, just like just because you know, it's not not really holding much back. Oh, but. you can see it's kind of tied there. Yeah. I think it just wasn't long enough or something. I, I still like the blue. PCBs, well, that's the you know? it's the it's for the eight pin for the video. If you need mm -hmm. the second connector, mm -hmm. looks nice. I don't know what GPU you're running though. Can't tell. Mm -hmm. Well, it's covered up. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Good job. So this is yo, Jake. Welcome. Um, a, nice. Looks like a little bit older of a motherboard, right? It's not micro. It's an it's Asus MSA97, which I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's got to be like 170 or older, right? Mm -hmm. well, That's a. So. Mm. No? You think this is newer? Cool. Like, what What? Look coolers? I don't, I don't know what cooler it is. Uh, it's an Arctic cooler. Yeah. I have one of those for uh, a GPU cooler. But it's. My, my point is that it's like a very modest 
hardware yeah. wise, but really cleanly done mm -hmm. yeah. for what it is like. Yeah, it doesn't have sleeving on the cable on the on the power connector. It, yeah. You know, it has a whatever you know flat facing I, cooler, but it's really clean and nicely put together for the parts. Yeah, I love nice. which like, is good. Like, I give you a eight out of ten. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, front has been submitting some really colorful mm -hmm. builds yeah. and using that Firewatch <laughs> background. Careful, you're we'll get in trouble for that. Yeah. Uh. Meme law. So it's a meme law. Who got who got in trouble? I think it was Ford. I, one of the like Ford dealerships used the Firewatch logo for one of their promotions oh, and got right. in trouble they for did. it. <laughs> so I'm like, always, whenever I see it now, I'm like, oh, we got to show that. Rocking a, a, a gigabyte GPU, Corsair power supply. Yeah. It's got itself a Seagate hard drive. Yeah. What what size is that that drive? Oh, let's see. Let's get in there. I want to say two terabytes. Barracuda. That's my that's my guess. <laughs> I, don't I think you're cannot. Be able to read it. Yeah, I won't be able to tell. Yeah. Oh, well. Potatoes. That's yeah, he's, nice. He's got himself a crucial salsa yeah. drive, so yep. that's you know this he's got good. both. Yep. Both Cryo sides here. Cooler. Looks good. Looks good. Nice workstation, man. Yeah. Yep. Clean. Pretty clean. And then his uh, box. I think he. We've seen his build before, but I think he's got a new. This is new here. This tubing. Bo boxes is always. This evolving. is boxes for real. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah, he just got the. Is it the EKWB water block system? Yeah, that's it's from running, space, it's bro. Passing through, Dude, right? that's nice. Yeah. Did you use like Topo it. Chico on that? that? Fizzy water, bro. I <sighs> really like the clear and opaque tubing combination. Yeah. Yeah. Box, you did a really good job, man. Looks really good. Yeah, this, 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 fans, is, this is sweet. And yeah. it's getting out of control. I it's like that it's the, soft line it's tubing too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the, the hard line, line tubing is, is like yeah. such. It's. I think he did this. Yeah. He did two different the two different pictures because he was like, okay, this is for the RGB haters, this is for RGB lovers. <laughs> but regardless of how it looks, it looks so clean. Yeah. The hard line tubing is so try hard. Yeah. It's it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It's like a low rider with like the etched gold trim and wheels. You're just like, dude, yeah, this is too much. It's like when you got an Aztec chica painted on your hood. Yeah, it's too much. You dude. know. It's too much. Like it's, that that plexi like that plexiglass yeah. like etched name of your car with the backlit yeah, thing. Like you went too far, bro. It's too you much, too dude. Far. There's an anything it's here too that much. I don't love. Did honest. we technically say hello to Mr. C? Hey, Mr. C. Hey, Mr. C. Hello, Mr. C. <laughs> uh, Mr. C, you got to admit your entire computer is unnecessary. It listen, is so so much better. <laughs> massive. And... We don't even put you in the runnings anymore. Yeah. Because you would win in the mall. Yeah. Your your PC is like a nuke. It is just there. Yeah, to your, scare your PC other PCs. is the low rider yeah. Yeah. of PCs. It's there to scare other PCs, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no one tries to say they have a better PC. But really, yeah. box, it's awesome to see how your your PC is upgrading and how it's changing. So thank yeah. brass, you. Brass brass hardline. That is true. I will say that the caveat to the hardline tubing is anything other than acrylic. If it's like a metal or something that's unique, like the carbon fiber stuff. If it's something even more extreme it kind of goes back into cool this is actually more extreme than mr c so this is something that dennis found and uh, these pictures though they're so small I wish it was yeah. something bigger yeah uh, they actually they're display bigger, bigger yeah. on the web page because it's like <laughs> filling them with why, the why do css you, is yeah, that an a7 s7 yeah, S7. yeah it's an s7, S7. yeah so the s not the a yeah sorry control plus yeah i know i should just <laughs> See the video yeah. of the fat guy Zoom. getting out of the S7? No. Weird, it usually does, you can it's control like a mouse wheel, but it doesn't. It's this is a weird website, and I, and I apologize for that in advance. So this, just, this is just a massive PC in the trunk? Oh my God. It's just a yeah. massive PC. Stop yeah. trying. All right, there we go. We see it, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna zoom, it's you, fine. You can't put your groceries in there. Yeah, just make it worse. That's pretty good. Yeah, so, so the basic, it's a funny thing because to me it's like, okay, this is a powerful computer. What's the idea behind it? You know, but having it inside a car makes it, what, a $170,000, you know? Kind of cheating. PC at that point. It's sort of useless. Yeah. yeah. This is And it also stupid. means your, your rear window's going to get broken out and your hardware's going to get stolen probably whenever you Well, stop. obviously it's for car shows. Yeah. You get, an, you get, imagine if it's on its way to a car show. Oh, that's, that's dope. <laughs> That's what RGB looks like, guys. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that is. That is what. Hey, RGB this is the epitome no. of RP, R, uh, R, RB, uh, RGB, RGB that RGB. you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, that is this dope. That's where it started. That's it. Wow. That's Need for Speed. Right yeah. There. Damn, that's <laughs> sweet. This is the only time RGB is okay, and but it's still not street legal. Yeah, you should put one in a Veyron if they really want to show up. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, is that your your extenders That's going cool. out, Bill? That's cool. They got the projectors. There's one in a Lambo SUV. I saw one of those this weekend. They're so stupid. They're disgusting. They're so stupid. That's a nice picture. It's yeah. just an Audi. 
It's an Audi. Take, everyone's taking pictures of it. I'm like, how's someone spend? It's like, it's an Audi Q7, dude. Who cares? It's, it's a $350,000 one, too. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back. So stupid. Listen, the, only two? Yeah. There's got to be 16s, though, right? You got to save that money. Are they on the other side, too? Is it just one? Are they just the those two, two slots? It looks like there's some space it's between that. them. Because that's that does not... I mean, that's an i9, right? Mm -hmm. That's that special uh, adapter, too, for the faster M.2 uh, ports on it. So I think it only has two on that hmm. on that motherboard. But it's it's cool. This is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't fault anyone for, for modding whatever they want to mod. Yeah. But at the same time... Oh, see, that's fake. Go yeah. go back to that. That's bullcrap. That's an S7 with an RS7 front grill they put on there. Mm -hmm. That's lame. It's an upgrade. That's not cool. So again, this is all something that Dennis found. Uh, Dennis, you're always finding the creative ones. Mm -hmm. And this one, I think, proves that. You say that in such a bad way, too. No, I think... This is it, all Dennis's fault. This is okay, all Dennis's fault, but this you, proves that yeah. you always find the creative <laughs> ones. Wait, does this thing roll away? I wish it did. I wish oh, that'd be so like funny. I thought he was right gonna now. just yeah. be cruising down the sidewalk yeah. in this thing. If it doesn't do that, yeah. this sucks. Just like flipping off his mom and yeah. driving down the hall. Oh, oh this is static? Yeah. This is Honestly, static, this is bullcrap. That mouse space is way too small. <laughs> yeah. I would go nuts if I had to try a game on that, that thing. That uh, waste space is not <laughs> efficient enough for most of us gamers. It looks like you could move that yeah. keyboard over though. I just yeah. could not, I, I could not like low sensitivity play on that thing. I need to. <laughs> I need that room. I you know how far over he's got the keyboard, yeah. though. I mean, Even you can, still, yeah, I got to shove that over. No, nah, I need more room than if that. If you have to go to the bathroom and it, it transforms that slowly, you're going to be like, to, oh my God. I ain't about to really whip, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah when, like, when you have that 20 <laughs> seconds between rounds of Rainbow Six and you got to run and go to the bathroom and run back. And hurry, go, hurry, 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 hurry. It's cheese, yeah. This guy's got an i3 <laughs> and a 970 yeah, Ti, though. Yeah. He could eat. Blew all his money on the motor. Blew all his money on that motor as he gave it by AMD. It's an AMD build. Oh my god. I had god. to figure out a way to make it cool. Yeah, you yeah. gotta make it somehow. Oh my gosh. So this is another one that Dennis found, and this was uh so ROG. What is this? What is this? Actually bought the motherboard first. It was stuck with an AMD build, so we had to build that to make it. I guess cool. like, I got an AM3 socket. Shit. <laughs> what do I do now? I don't know, spend 15 grand on a motorized Robot chair. robotic chair thing. Yeah, that's the only way it'll be cool. I have to sit inside Optimus Prime maybe to make this motherboard cool. Maybe I should cool. turn it and get it like yeah. a 2080. It's like, nah, it's all right. Should I, I get an 1151 socket or just... It's almost like some guy who was like Build a sticking to his guns. He's like, no, listen, yeah. AMD's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, make it show, I'm gonna you gonna show cool. these guys. Make it cool. We're so mean. AMD, if you're out there. Your stuff sucks. No, you're no right. we love yeah. you, AMD. We love competition. We love the fact that it's all there. Yeah. And it's for everyone who... Yeah, we actually do really like AMD. Yeah. I love AMD. I love Intel. I love NVIDIA. Yeah. Oh, I hope Blastasar is not Blastisar. AMD. Blastasar. Yeah. Blastasar, are you AMD or Intel? Yeah. Do you work for AMD? Blast us with some information. He's probably Nintendo. But we always mention that because whenever we see someone with an AMD build, like we always just give them a standing ovation. You're just like, thank you for somebody actually... <laughs> buying a PC or building a PC based off of value. So I'm gonna move mm -hmm. past this. This is, uh, like I said, uh, Hornet kind of double dip <laughs> and uh, shared, uh, I think this, these are this his- is more of that same case. Yeah, yeah. it's more of the same case. But so we could, trash, we could right? appreciate the positive of it for being so old, but yet, you know, working in its condition. But mm -hmm. we can also say, this is a little trash. Blast the start what's up. Light on. Intel, right out, right out. I right. really wish that he wasn't volunteering out of school and this was probably something he's keeping going for a while because I would tear that thing apart. All right, so this is something sent by Fatal. That's tight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look at the, look, I'm sorry, I have to look at these here, that's like dope. for your air conditioner. That's a nice car. Is that a right Golf? There. Zoom out on that. Is that a, is that a oh, VW Golf? That's, this, this is the whole photo. This is the whole photo yeah, here. This is all you get. It does look like an old Volkswagen. Though. It yeah. looks like a Golf or something. Let's check it out. It's got a cigarette lighter. It um, does, yeah. Not a lot of cars have cigarette lighters nowadays. Good, good, good find, Fatal. That's nice, nice uh, sponges holding that in place to keep your, That's your data from from uh, you know sipping when you hit bumps. <laughs> uh, I can't move past. I think I think there once we, go. we got to like USB and pin drives, it was like over for. for That's CD disgusting. Media. So, uh, is your laptop not working? Maybe it's overheating and it's uh, you know powering down because it's getting too hot. Hey. Aww. We've oh. got your solution. But why would you? I like be the first one to react. No. Why would you put the fan? Yeah. Against yeah. the flat edge of the yeah. heatsink. Go on. And what is that heatsink against? 
Because it's upright. Let's, it should be lying down. Why are you zoom pulling, in. Why are you pulling that fan power by you? Is that glue? Yeah, that's glue. That's okay, so they so they they made their own kind of thermal pipe solution. You're that special, Blastasar. To, uh, to the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, we 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 have a lot more focus on Twitch and uh, mixer and things like that. But uh, we're we're happy you stopped by and please stick around. Join I can Discord. tell you from personal experience, the easiest way to get by with this is just to get one of those like three dollar mm -hmm. USB laptop fans. Yes. Cut a hole in the bottom yeah. and just have that air pushed directly. None down of this is the, necessary. You know where he could have gone? Yeah. He could have gone to Ross. Yeah. <laughs> and saved twenty dollars or something. <laughs> I'll tell you one That's thing. Horrible. You're not making that thing cooler. Yeah. No, yeah. you're not. And it's, you can't put it on your lap anymore either. Yeah, caking it in glue yeah. is not helping the situation. Yeah. You gotta let go. It's got no battery. I think this is a joke. There's no battery in it. Yeah. Fatal. Good find. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Ooh. This isn't too bad, Fatal. He's that's another smart. one. That's just I've smart. Seen this. Yeah. Not too bad, but that's still not good. That's just smart right there. This is only. This is only a temporary solution. That's it. <laughs> and no one's gonna see it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the heat, it's gonna fall eventually. You well, know? that's what, what I don't understand yeah. is just tuck it down there by the power supply. You don't no one's gonna to, see yeah. it anyway. You don't need yeah. to glue it yeah. or tape it. You yeah. can just let it well, hang. There's just, a spot right to the right of the Kingston Drive. Yeah. yeah. It's in its spot. It definitely is there, but the tape probably seems what? like it's not necessary. But there's should, a place for a bracket yeah, right should, there. They should bolt right through where it's at to, no, uh, to that spot. No, no quasar. Yeah, yeah, check. Like what I would do in that situation is not tape it and just yeah. shove it in there under the shroud. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. See it anyway. Or, or even better, Velcro. Two way Velcro. Slap it on the one side, stick it down on the other. Done. Yeah. Velcro it off whenever you need it. Move it. It's not necessary. Believe me, I'm staying. Yeah. Uh, I'm really bored. My brother and his friend are at a skate park and I'm just chilling. Well, if you've got Twitch on your app, on your phone, the Twitch app on your phone, there's some more activity over there. Doing those over uh, there. kick flips, my dude? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, box. That's my room. Yeah, that's my room. <laughs> my God. That's beautiful. Speaking of red flags, when I, you live meet soft <laughs> yeah. I live that soft hoarder. I live that soft hoarder life. I know how this feels. <laughs> I've, I've been to this guy's house at least once oh, to, yeah. to get a disc. You know? I went to a land party at his yeah. house. I'm pretty sure he gave me Doom for free. Yeah. You know, he just he just made a copy for me right then. He he actually got out the drill press and drilled the uh, discs to make them high density. He had a bunch yeah. of shareware discs, actually. <laughs> Clean your room! Yeah. I can't look at this. this Son of a here. bitch! Is this the, is this the scene from, uh, from the Netflix... Uh, uh, Mr. Robot? Yes. Uh, no, Black Mirror. Uh, what was it? Bowders? Bandersnatch? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah. like it actually. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the programmer's uh, room right there. Oh, it does. <laughs> Weird. It is pretty triggering. Yeah. yeah. Can't do this. That feels very 90s to me, though. I can I can accept that that, that, that did exist. That's not like. Oh, for it. sure. That's yeah. not like a setup. Yeah. I've this is the 90s. You know what? Yeah. I think we've seen a variant <laughs> of this in the past. Yeah. This looks like an awesome basement porn dungeon. I think I had that monitor. In a, in a crawl space. Yeah. yeah. With a... with a. It's like the space. mom was like, find your own computer room. Yeah. And he was like, fine. Or he... Yeah. Or go or in the, the mom, crawl space. The mom took away the computer and then he went underneath the house and cobbled together a system just yeah. to watch that Netscape dial-up porn. No, I bet this is just where he could get to the phone line. Right? Like, oh, wow. He couldn't get a phone line in his room or he's whatever. Yeah. He's for sure tapping phone lines. Yeah. So he's like... He's all the, the extension cords right here in the corner. Yeah, it's like, I can just run a cable under the house then. Yeah. Like... His computer's already, you know, I dissembled think, here. I think he's still you Because this is like an AT power supply. I think he's using the power supply from the other case. He just yeah. can't transfer it. Oh, my God. not enough power <laughs> or space oh, to make it happen. Yeah. You know what, so PC he, gamers, we are... It there. We this, are MacGyvers. This is yeah. not a PC gamer, dude. Yeah. It oh, definitely he games. is. He games. It definitely dude. is. Those that, those connectors though, look, look how roundy shaped they are. This is another country. Dude, yeah. this is oh, yes. dude, he's he's, yeah, he's trading he, arms, Asia, dude. Yeah. He's down there with his yeah. taped together beanbag chair. Yes. And he's like trading people on the dark web is what's happening. <laughs> is that what you think he's yeah. doing? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and maybe he'll play Doom after he like sells a few people. Boy, that, that guy, was a that great guy has 1500 bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, he's like that was a great mining session. Time yeah. to go and play some Doom. Yeah. Uh this is Matt found this one who's not here today. Yeah. I've, uh, I've been there. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Is your laptop broken and its display is gone? That's awesome. Yeah, uh, we have a solution for you. This dude like I'm not mad at him. Nice keyboard. No way, dude. This is a small form factor in its purest form. Yeah. <laughs> and this dude had to do what he had to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't He didn't buy another computer. Everything's clean. It's perfectly good computer. You know what, you know what happened here? 
he, he thought he had one of those those tablet two in ones and he oh, just he's bent like his snapped screen. it. He's like, oh, oh. <laughs> he's like, hey, that's, oh, that's not a yoga. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you I'll lied to me. Get another laptop. Screen. HP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good enough. Love it. Thank you guys for submitting your yeah. build pictures and trash pictures. Please yes. join our Discord if you can. Love it. Go ahead and submit that link and uh, submit more pictures. We love these things. Yes, yeah, send us some pictures of your whole setup. Like, I think we're getting too narrow on the PC. Let's get some yeah. desks in here. You just want to creep into people's if you, rooms. If you, have, if you have pictures of Bill, send us Bill pics, because we really want to know what Bill does outside the office. Nice. Bill pics. Yeah. So, one big <laughs> announcement that was, fair, was it today? I don't I think so. make sure. Is this hot up the press? Yeah. Number four in trending, it was today. Yes. Uh, Borderlands 3. Ooh. And we all kind of knew it was coming. I yeah. think it's not a big surprise. There was some other teaser thing that happened recently. I think they were hiring or something, and, and everyone mm. was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. But, yeah. It, Look, it's funny how when you told me that, oh, have you seen the new trailer? I was like, oh, no, I haven't. Is it a gameplay? No, it's not. Well, then I don't care because I knew Borderlands 3 was coming out anyways. It's 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 interesting to me because, uh, number one, I'm used to cell shading on their, on their graphics, so to see something without any cell shading, it kind of makes me wonder, like, oh, maybe they could just have a, you know, a real skin texture instead hmm. on this version. I wonder if they'll they'll have cell shading again, or if they're, you know, if that's, that's if know, they're smart, they're, they're going to keep you know? the cell shading. It's shade. funny that they had uh, uh, the um, it looked like the not God of War. What's the other? You want me to go back? Uh, Gears of War. Gears of War guy yeah. in there, but this is definitely a ripoff of the um, Halo. Well, there, there, there's, uh, there's oh, that's what I, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. Reach out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's also very reminiscent of uh, Avengers of Age of Ultron ending, because they had kind of this like statuette in marble that they kind of floated yeah. around. No, not a lot of detail. Yeah. It's just, uh, I loved Borderlands 2. I never played yeah. Borderlands 1, but the second one, I yeah. had so much fun making those guns. and. It's it's one of my top five Steam games that I, I played. It's so cool. It's like well-written. Uh, the characters were yeah. crazy. Yeah, the, the uh, there's a Tiny Tina. Uh, Dungeon. Yeah, Tiny Tina was hilarious. Was great, great. Ashley Burke. It, you know, it, it's one of these few games that I can say that that even even though it's not like a like a shooter like like headshots and and, and accuracy and whatnot, yeah. it's a lot of just spraying and watching little numbers kick away on the screen. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the one game that I yeah. don't mind the little numbers. Yeah, I think we the talked about it. The dialogue is so good. We talked about it. So good. What was the name? So of I'm the, kind of burnt out on Sparkle Pony. What was the the, the Handsome Jack's his, horse uh, thing? Horse, yeah. yeah. I think we, we talked about it because I was like, I'm kind of done with loot shooters because that's what Borderlands is. Mm -hmm. um, because we've been so saturated with it. You know, we've got uh, Division 2, we've got Anthem, we've got all these other ones that are, you know, here and coming out. But Stallion. But we talked, I was like, well, then why did Borderlands, why did I like that game so much when yeah. I'm already, like, exhausted with it? And it's because of the story and the writing. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, the writing was good, but also I liked the, the uniqueness of each gun. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, I feel like these other games where you're you know that are kind of similar it's just a percentage yeah. it's just a gun yeah and I, there's only so many guns this like how many gun combinations oh, were there yeah, it was like yeah. crazy i think yeah. you it know was, it was just it was like random. millions was, and millions it's like 40 pajillion they actually put that on the yeah it's, it's even, unbelievable i got big concerns about whether they're gonna update borderlands yeah. enough for what we want in modern games mm -hmm. right that's like if borderlands 3 is like a better borderlands 2 people are going to be less happy with it and i think they think they will you it's, know what I mean? That's a good point. Yeah. From Zeta, the talking gun was so useless, but you legit just kept it because it was so yeah, funny. Yeah, you, you just loved all the little things it would say. That's that's my biggest fear with this game. Is is the same thing. The same thing that happened to me with Fallout, which is I love the original Fallout's. I love the storylines and and how much detail was put into like the character acting. And, oh. But but at this point now with like Fallout 76 and even last Fallout 4. It just there's just not there's not that much content in it. So, but those know. are those are a lot yeah. more serious games. This did not take itself seriously oh, oh, no, at no, all. No, no, no. Fallout, Fallout did it until serious, like yeah. four. Like really, yeah. like I 100 percent agree with that. Don't take yourself seriously yeah. with these types of games. I'm telling that to the developers. Yeah. Fallout Four is the first one where you're like, why do I care about this stupid baby? Well, the, like the, 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 <laughs> the tiny the tiny Tino episode where. 
like halfway through it, they're like, and there was a dragon. They're like, no, scrub that. There was two dragons, and he just changed it right there in the middle of the game. They just threw up like two things at once. It's like, okay, that's too much. You guys can't handle it that much at once. It's like those little moments like that. It's like you just totally went, you know, yeah. separated me out of this game and, and made it feel like this is a role-playing campaign in a game that I didn't expect any of this in. You know, so yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. And yeah. the Mr. Torg, the uh, the monster truck arena of combat fight area that that I mean, was still still great memories even even just a just a loot you know when you went to one of those like super fight the sandworm thing for 40 minutes you know with friends yeah. it was still fun i think the things we expect from games now like even the, like subconsciously like that don't exist in borderlands or haven't mm -hmm. existed in the past in borderlands yeah. like they're hard things to get right. Like, I think yeah. making a game right now is, it's very hard to make a game that feels right right now, even if, you know, you think like, oh, I just want exactly what I had, right? I want Borderlands 2, but new, right? Because I love Borderlands 2. Yeah. And they make that, and that's Borderlands 3, and you're like, like what is wrong with this game? Yeah, like, like the voice acting I mean? performances yeah. may not be as good, or yeah. the writing may be kind of off, or it's, it's you know, a different it's, it's art gotta director. It's got to be modern, right? It's, it's got to be. Balance. Yeah, it's, all, yeah. it's really tough. It's Yeah, I can imagine. Even even because gamers as a whole, we expect like a certain amount of stuff that's in every other game right Yo, now. Yo, Matthew. You know, I, I wonder are they are they going to sell out and have a battle royale? Are they going to sell out and have you know these different like like start selling selling different costumes? Mm -hmm. You know, pieces of the costumes. If it's or, but, you know, if you know. if the choice is is between having it exist or not having it exist, and that depended on it being more marketable with kind of a trendy gameplay thing. I would probably rather have it exist and kind of sell out than than not. Yeah, uh, it's tough. Mm. It's tough for me because I, again, I, I just lean on, on Fallout 76, you know. For me, I will never go back to that game. You know, it's just, it's dead to me, you know. Yeah. And I would much rather have had they not done that than to do it wrong. Okay. But you never, but at least they tried and you never know who's going to get it right. Like who yeah. thought that, that, um, like a that Apex would, would oh. be what it is before it came out. But they, and if you're like, yeah. oh my God, don't, I don't want another Battle Royale game that's kind of, you know, like Fortnite. Yeah. And that. Like we would have dis dismissed that, but they tried, they nailed it and everyone's yeah. better for it. Yeah, but Titanfall 2 was really good. Yeah, you know, it's not like it's a bad. It's not like it's an iteration on a bad game. I you know what I mean? No, but it's a, but it's from a develop. It's from a developer that is a good developer and, and has been good in the past. Same with Borderlands. They made a good game in the past. Let's hope that they can make another well, that, one. That, another thing I, I was we talked about before was was the DLC because because the DLC was so good in this game. The amount of like voice acting they did and development in in game levels and locations and props that it made up for the cost of it you know mm -hmm. but today mm -hmm. we're we're in a, we're in an era now where it's like you're gonna pay you know five bucks for yeah how sachet, do they how do they monetize know? it yeah, in a modern know. manner yeah well because well, that was real content to me that's what you want you want like you don't want just a map you don't want just a pair of shoes yeah you know for nine bucks you you want an entire experience if they can add on to it they'll figure they'll figure it out i mean it's it's I constantly changing i mean we went from 60 60 dollars no matter what to you know free and if you want to pay you know whatever for a stupid dance you can i mean it's they'll probably have their take on that like loot crates suck but Again, I would rather have games exist with loot crates than no games at all. All right, so I'm gonna pause the music real quick. Okay. Uh, so this is something that um, I, I frequent our game crate site. Uh, a lot of great articles, obviously, but uh, do you, Mike? I absolutely do. And this is one, this, this caught my attention. And I was like, it got me really into like the Smash Brothers community, yeah. which is really weird. I'm not uh, sure if anyone watches like esports or anything. I've, I've heard the story actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with this one. So. Yeah. Uh, Apparently the Smash community is super uh, toxic. Hmm. I didn't know that. Well, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's not how I would phrase this situation. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anyone is <laughs> super toxic. Yeah, true. people in general suck. <laughs> yeah. And here is one of the billion examples yeah. that we yeah. have for today on the internet. Well, apparently, yeah. there's more examples when it comes to Smash because there's like uh, issues of people not bathing. Well, not you ever played basketball at the gym before? It sucks. People are <laughs> so. <laughs> they're not. They're not cool. Anytime you have competition in a small room with a bunch of kids, so you're gonna have a fight. Well, let this play out. Sometimes they're not the best, but when he gets to explode, oh my god, that's the on the left. So he's yelling at someone in the crowd right now, because uh, 
What's what's happening right now is that they're actually saying, "Hey, watch out! He's gonna shoot a fireball or something." Well, the person in the crowd's calling out his strat. Yeah, which is dumb because obviously, who cares? It's like, oh, he's gonna shoot the ball if it's you, basketball. You would care. I mean, I can see why that's frustrating as a competitor. And just that's it. Done. Yeah, walks, walks out. Yeah. He, like I love the announcers at this point. We're like, what's happening? Yeah, you can't. Was that him in the background? You know they can't see him. He rage quit it. Oh, they they can't see him. Okay, here. Let me bring it up a little but bit. But, like, I know, like, <laughs> I get why that's frustrating as a competitor, yeah. right? Um, but I'll be honest, you walk off, you take the L. Like, that's. Everyone's a damn yeah. snowflake. So oh, my God, dude. You know get over yeah. yourself. I You're playing no video so games in front of a crowd. Look at this guy here. This is a tough moment because you think about, like, baseball. You yeah. know, and if someone's on the side, you know, or, or in basketball, and someone's just yelling or trying to distract the player. If someone's trying, trying to, to break, yell yeah. the catcher signs in a yeah. baseball game, yeah. they're going to get beat up. Yeah. Right, like they're not even doing that though. They can't tell what he's doing. They're just well, guessing. Yeah. They know because they've been watching him all day. Yeah. yeah. The other competitor. This is the busy. finals. This is the yeah. finals. He's the other competitor has been busy playing his own games all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone else has been watching him all day, and they're like, he's been doing this all day. He's been doing this all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like. It's fine if that guy figured it out on his own, but yeah. as a competitor and having someone do that. So is yeah. that like a rule? Is it like tennis where you there, have to be quiet? No, there are no. no. They actually yeah. looked into there's no rules against the the crowd cheering on their own person, <laughs> regardless if that's calling out. There's the rules against coaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah but co but it's not yeah. even coaching. It's it's. Uh, no. An audience yelling out, it's like, hey, LeBron's gonna go left. He's gonna go left. Yeah. Oh, he went left. Like, yeah. who cares? That's exactly that's my point too. I'm like, well. You know, if I'm yelling out like, "Oh, oh, watch out!" The, look at how pass, look at how pass. mad this kid's getting. Yeah. Oh my like, god, like, you're, shut up, dude, shut you're up. an idiot. You are an idiot, dude. I, I have a you, personal story about this. You are an idiot. When I when I was a wee lad, uh, racing BMX, I remember like pedaling away and my parents screaming at me like, "Go, go, 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 go!" You know, and I. I you could hear on the tape me go, shut up, you know? Because yeah. it was distracting to me. They even have my own family cheer me on. Yeah, I can you remember know. even like, <laughs> I remember once I was trying to move a trailer. Yeah. And I was backing it into like, I had to back it down this parking lot and it was driving, I was going nuts. And my brother <laughs> like said some, made some joke about it. And I literally got out of the car and I was just like, you mother effort. Like how, like, how dare you right now? I'm stressed out. You know, you're my brother. Like where are you? Know? Like. High pressure situations. Yeah. So and like it's so easy to get so. T I'm not saying he's right. I think yeah. he should be disqualified. Yeah. Right. Like, but yeah. all I'm saying is, I get why he's tilted mm -hmm. and falling yeah. apart at that. Yeah, right. I, like I totally, you know, have that moment. You know. <laughs> yeah, I get why that happens, but I think it's weird the way they handled it with the mm -hmm. rules, right? Because like they eventually tried to reset the match where like he was, and that guy actually won. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. They, mm -hmm. He he actually won. Uh, oh, he came back and won. Yeah. yeah. So they tried it again. They were like, okay, try it one more time. Yeah. So this is another moment of like. Maybe sort it of... was a counter counter strategy that he yeah. had his friend do that. <laughs> so is this okay in an esports moment, like in a, like a finale? Yeah, I don't think this matters. Yeah. I think this is so, so silly that people the get two, mad about the this. The two finalists uh, basically agree. They were talking to each other and they're like, why don't we just hang out and talk? For two minutes. Aww. And so they just hold down B, which is, I guess, Bayonetta's charge move. And they were just like, so, what'd you eat today? I don't know. I yeah. just had some sushi. What people, about you? People I had some toast. so mad. Is this the equivalent of, like, holding hands when you finish a decathlon, though? Yeah. <laughs> Are you, is, it, is, it, is it the noble thing to do to, like, you know, you know <laughs> slow down so the other one can have, like, a, pro a proper race? I think you're just trolling. I, yeah, this, this is, is so trolling. stupid. You know who's really pissed is yeah. all the companies lined yeah. up yeah. on the bottom. All these, all that is guys. a big F you to hit box. And here and comes, here comes the, uh, the announcer, yeah. like, what the hell are you guys doing? Could I think it's 14-year-olds trolling. I'll be honest, yeah. in all of these situations, like, I would just... I would tell both these guys, you, you're out. Yeah. And yeah. I would say third place wins, tournament over. <laughs> right? Like, that's literally yeah. what I would do at this yeah. point. Oh, yeah. Like, you guys are done. Who is the runner up? You guys still here? Yeah. Yeah. I just like, wanna, third place wanna... wins. You guys are done. If it's if it's not against the rules, I'm going to allow it. Just because if they haven't thought about that through to the rules, yeah. then it's a I thing. agree. But yeah. They... Uh, yeah look that's, at the, that's true. Look at the crowd, how it is, it is yeah. now. Yeah. And look but, how it was when they thought they were going to play. But I think you should say, like, I, I mean, there should be a rule to any collusion between yeah. players. It's a disqualification. <laughs> oh, it's. Yeah. Even if this was off the cuff, like they were just like, hey, you know, do you just want to play right now? You just want to hang out? That's yeah. still collusion. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that would be, in my opinion, 
Like, if they were like, I'm going to let you win and we'll split the prize money. Yeah. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it feels like to me, yeah. right? Uh, it's just rude to the sponsors, the people that put this event on, everyone yeah, that, no. that is there to watch you jackasses play a video game. Yeah. I, I got to be honest, in most cases like this, if they did that, they, and we're talking about it right now, these sponsors are getting way yeah. more noticed than anything else. You I'm know? just thinking, as a runner of a tournament, there's fans, there's and people that are really invested people, in this, yeah. and the they're watching, and they're like, I gotta go to work in a minute. Like cup of noodles, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I gotta go to work in a minute, and these jackoffs won't play this game. I, I don't know, if if, if if your life's priorities is, I gotta get to work in a minute, but I'm also gonna watch this eSports event. Well, people stream. do it for sports all the time. <laughs> I love this, where he's like, I mean, people do it for sports all yeah. the time, right? If you're into it, if that's a thing you're into, that's fine. I, I don't I don't no, but but that minute would have been there either way because they could have fought for that long. They would, but they like wouldn't. The timer though. would have counted down. They wouldn't long. though. That's I what like, I mean. Yeah. Either one or two things are happening right now. Either the guy's like, "This is your contract. You better damn." Because they play right after this. <laughs> he's like, "You better start playing." Or he shows them the comments. And he's like, "Everyone's hating you right now. Yeah. Start playing your freaking game." I'm probably showing them a rule that says, "Yeah, yeah. you're gonna get." You guys are gonna get shut down if you guys yeah. don't do this. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then he's like, look at that smug yeah. face. Well, they're like 12. <laughs> look at this. You know what I mean? Like, Where? all right, man, yeah. I guess we'll start yeah. playing. All right. Fine. Did you see his, the, the guy's yeah. like, oh, I want to like, punch that kid yeah. right in his stupid face. I thought we were just playing games. Yeah. I don't know. I, I thought think this was America. No, he's doing that, like, embarrassed. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, he's so embarrassed. He's doing that, I'm embarrassed, but I'm not. Where he's like, I thought people would think it was funny. He's like, oh, I thought we were just having some fun. Isn't this a game? Oh, okay. There's a lot. More uh, just disrespectful yeah. idiots. Yeah. There's a lot more esports players getting tilted videos yeah. if you really want to like. <laughs> so I, I just, I got really sucked in this, uh, the Smash Brothers uh, drama, which I was, I was starting to love it. I was like, man, I want to see more of these. I don't know why. Just, it just. Well, I would suggest, my I would suggest yeah. if you really want to watch more of these, watch like Leffen videos. Yeah. He's a professional melee player that oh. has like a reputation for. <laughs> All right, I'll take your recommendation then. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're, uh, we've got like nine minutes, so let's see if we can maybe do one more of this and maybe answer one more question. Cool. So, uh, oh, I actually had it queued up for Just a video. We're watching a video of ourselves? Yeah. We're watching a video? So, uh, if you guys... Because <laughs> it was live, and that's why it kicked in. If you guys don't know, uh, our buddies from, uh, Newegg now, uh, JC and Trish have been, uh, streaming periodically on this mm -hmm. Twitch channel and our Mixer channels. Uh, and Periscope as well, uh, but yeah, so they'll be hanging out with us almost like every other Thursday um, Doing their own like sort of talk show where they almost do like a taking around thing mm -hmm. um, And we hope to have them more often on the show. So, you know, welcome them if you guys uh, can please uh, be nice to them You guys already have I don't even have to tell you to be honest um, But I love the fact that we can now provide you guys with more content even when we can't you know, yeah. uh, a lot of us do this, uh, you know, new egg plays thing. Uh, we only have so much time and energy. Yeah. Okay, so we got to bring in, we got to bring in the JV team every once in a while. You know, I hear you, Theo. We call them the relievers. <laughs> hold, hold them to it. Yeah. Yeah. We bring in, we bring in the B team, and they come and you know, <laughs> yeah, kill some time while we recharge and you know. Yeah, and um, I mean, I'll always be there, or if I can't, someone else can sub in for uh, for moderation. So yeah. we'll always have a hand on something like this when it comes to our Twitch channels. But regardless, you know, we're happy to have JC and Trish. So this is just to announce to anyone who hasn't like is aware or and questioning are if there's why a, this is here. If there's a problem, a mistake in the background, it's Mike. You can Mike. blame me. It's yeah. still, hashtag blame Mike. It's still there. You guys don't have to be he's nice. He's hit the wrong button. You know, <laughs> Mike's just talking. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah, you guys have to be nice. Yeah. We've we've taken them under our wing, Some, and we're so we definitely had at this point. We're mentoring them through uh, technology, the big T, yeah. the big T, mm -hmm. the big T, the big S, um, and yeah. just. Con, you know, creating things and being I, on camera. Yeah. They tend to lean a little bit more towards smartphones and mobile devices. Yeah. They're a little bit more PC. Well, that's this guy. Hey, be nice to Trish. He comes on our show. JC, whatever. Yeah, yeah. JC is. He in... doesn't come on our show, so you know. J nice JC guy. specializes yeah. in Tamaguchi. Um, he's like a classic Tamaguchi collector. I heard so he collects Furbies too. He collects Furby. It's like basically 90s electronic toys, mm -hmm. Tiger gonna, Electronics. I'm going to take a moment here to stand up for JC and say that his computer is better than all of ours. Yeah. So, what does that mean? That means he's got a Threadripper and the rest of us got like... Wait, mine doesn't rip anything. <laughs> Mine's not 
I AMD. Yeah. So I don't know how, why you're saying it's yeah, better than I don't, Ryan. I don't, it's, that's, it's, it's fast in yours. But regardless, we're super happy to have him on. Says who? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. By the way, uh, <laughs> did, did Bill say Tamaguchi? Yeah. It's yeah. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Oh, sorry. Well, sorry, actually, Senpai. It's, it's yes. actually pronounced with a long A sound, yeah. so... I yeah. thought you I thought you would have been the first he one to catch that. He actually has the Italian version, which is Tamagotchi. Oh, yeah. oh Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Tamagotchi. It's the high-end luxury <laughs> yeah, it's, electronic it's, it's pet. It's leather-wrapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, All right. Fangul. Eh, manage America. <laughs> Look at him. So All nice. right, guys. Let's get into another question before we have uh, no more time on this one. Mr. C, what card reader do you use for your SD cards and for the new egg crew? If you stream, if you stream, do you have a hot sauce challenge? Wow, just tired of ki killing Mike. Um, <laughs> Those are two questions. Two good questions. Uh, is it? All right. So the first one, SD cards. I don't really use them anymore. I have a really generic, like, <laughs> I don't even know what multi called. one. It's got like the the full SD. It's got the micro. Yeah. It's got like a couple extra things. Yeah. It's. I mean, I usually use a micro SD card just for like my GoPro, and that's it. I don't really have any other use for it. Yeah, that's what I, I use it for. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my CyberPower had a built-in multi-panel on it, which was just a mm. generic, you know. Uh, whatever with I think it still has like compact flash and like a couple like really old like is PC that a thing CIA is like <laughs> is like card reader yeah like tiers a thing I, I well there's definitely different uh, classes there's like I have the one. Amazon yeah. basics card reader yeah, I use one that looks yeah. like every other one I have yeah. yeah I have a one that looks like a Mac one but it's like generic I don't really, I don't really know white. of a yeah. high end brand that that is also something that I would buy in in card reader world. So I think know. mine came with an SD card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. C, are you in yeah. the market for an SD card reader? Yeah. Is that what we're getting at? We, we sell them. We sell them on Newegg. That, yeah, we do have them yeah. on Newegg. Newegg.com, <laughs> and if you're in Canada, Newegg.ca, and yeah. for all your Newegg business needs for your small business owners, business small, business medium, small, small, medium, small, medium, or large business, you can go to Newegg. Business, Newegg we business. We serve businesses yeah. of all sizes. All, all sizes. sizes. And when you buy it, write a review on it. Yeah. Afterwards, don't feel like you need to be a certain size to give us a call on New Egg Business. No. And uh, <laughs> for the New Egg crew, if you if you no. stream, do you have Sell a out. hot sauce challenge? And also buy that merch, Theo. I don't do challenges. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much the only one who likes to I'm torture myself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can torture Mike more. I think that should be the challenge. Yeah. If you like our our stuff. If you're hoping to Mike. torture these guys, they don't subject themselves to it like I do. Yeah. So if you're tired of killing me, yeah, I don't have. Bad. I don't have something that's not in the stream as a yeah. challenge. You, like, like, you have a wine thing, don't if you? If you want to tip a substantial Sometimes, amount of money, yeah. we feel like a charity thing, like maybe I'll do something, but... Yeah. Like I've I've tried to land upside down for money. I did that once. I can get them to do this for... Um, Bill has done a lot of things for money. I will do pretty much anything for the right amount of money. <laughs> well, I cannot do a hot that. sauce challenge. So just, yeah. just work with him on a stream and he'll, he'll tell you where, where that's... Oh, yeah. Tony gets a blue streak. I so How much money are you willing to put towards this blue streak? Grockle, yeah. you don't have enough money. To get yeah. me to dye my hair. Yeah, Grockle, get out of here. <laughs> Broke ass. Mr. Oh, yeah. C's dumbass does stuff. <laughs> Grockle, move out of your mom's house and then yeah. we'll talk. I think we've got to find a really good question. Let's yeah. see, what's a good one for a final one? Uh, oh, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> Dirty Paul Down. Uh, New York Plays had, Dirty Paul Down uh, had a huge Twitch slash YouTube scandal. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? How do you apologize? Oof. What's, what would I my, love this. Yeah. This is a pretty good. I love I think, this. I think oh, we should scandal. say yeah. what the other person's scandal would be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Good. Like if you say you can't say your own scandal, right? Because, <laughs> no, I think Horn is right. I probably yeah. did something. <laughs> All right. Uh, so should we go in like a clockwork, like yeah. fashion? So okay. Yeah. You name the person so, in front of you. Okay. So horrible. Yeah. So that means uh, I'll tell Dennis. As Dennis will tell Bill. Bill will tell Tony. As Tony will tell mine. Okay, but you can say how you apologize. That's not fair. You can say how you'd apologize, but... Because yeah. there, there's nothing that Bill hasn't already done that he shouldn't already be apologizing for. Oh, come for. on, you can think of something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Every week there's a, a moment where I'm like, oh, sh he shouldn't have said that. He shouldn't have said that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and guess, guess what my answer is going to be for the second part of that question. <laughs> Comes a fight. I think uh, Dennis, uh, his scandal is that uh, he's, he said something racist. Uh, oh, Jesus, dude! He said something racist on his channel, and uh, every, white people. Everyone, exactly <laughs> white people. He's like those damn honkies, and then uh, everyone clipped it and then shared it online. Wow! Oh my now, God! Now, how do you apologize for that? Yeah, Th thank you, thank you for setting me up for that. Yep. 
Hey, I, I'm not gonna go. I, I wouldn't say you said anything racist. I would, yeah, you just. Well, I would unsub myself. Okay. You know, and then I would just just rename myself and start a new. Oh, brand clever! Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, I would just disappear from the yeah. internet. Would you just go? Sorry, <laughs> Look, New York Dennis is gone. I would apologize to my four fans, you know, directly because I know them all by name, you know. I got <laughs> put on a hat hey, and be called you know, Lennis. I'm sorry. You know? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I put on a hat yeah. and called Lennis. I put on a tube yeah. and I'd be the Canadian Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so sorry. And I would yeah. totally stop drinking. Yeah, you know, just, just call that line right there. Yeah, I'm now sober. <laughs> and then everyone Absolutely goes, okay, funny. you're yeah. good. Yeah, you know, Duncan, we do not read the chat. I went, I went the, the classic answer, which is like, I'm sorry for how you thought that, that I was thinking at the time, you know, with, where yeah. you turn it back on the person. I would not pull that line. Those are the worst, the you backhanded know, apology. Duncan, uh, Duncan uh, you said that you're watching on two platforms, but I only see you chatting on one. Yeah. Uh, so oh, so well, now what's Bill's? I think uh, Bill's scandal would be... Um, that he doesn't like airplanes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, That's yeah. really good. I actually hate airplanes. Yeah, you know, yeah. this whole time, you know. There'll be like a, a private image of him at a restaurant where he's like, I hate airplanes. I can't believe people feel like Are, I'm, I'm afraid of flying. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm scared of heights. Totally I get scared of heights. I get motion sickness. <laughs> So the entire uh, all of my X videos are all fake. Yeah. The X Plane community <laughs> finds out. Yeah. Uh, everyone starts tweeting about it. Yeah. They start talking to you about. It. They want you know. Yeah. Some, want answers. some answers. Yeah. You know. How do you respond? Oh, I don't apologize for anything. <laughs> yeah. So what? I'm afraid of flying. <laughs> I love that. That was a good answer, Dennis. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is really, that's really funny. That is really funny. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I, there's not, I actually said there's nothing I would apologize for because obviously like, you know, we all. You have apologized. We, yeah. we all make mistakes. Oh, the things we've said on the podcast before. Yeah. Um, but not for, I wouldn't apologize for that. <laughs> I don't think. Maybe I would say like. I'm sorry, I, I, I misled, misled you. Yeah, I uh, I apologize if you felt misled, but that's the bit. <laughs> that's the, that's not how I actually yeah, am. Yeah, like, I have to be true to myself. Yeah. yeah, like this is I this is a character, and if I'd probably go that route. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah pretty good. I'd go I'd go the route of like not apologizing for for it, just being like, yeah, this is a character, I'm, you know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not really a doctor of disrespect. So. Yeah. I like that's a good apology uh, and good scenario. He actually is doctor disrespect. <laughs> yeah. That's not, really good, that's guys. That was pretty good. So what's, uh, what's, what's Tony's? Mine? Okay. Um, Tony. <laughs> Let's hear it. I'm Tony, excited. Tony, Tony peels off all of his branding on his PC and it's all AMD stuff. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. We find out he's actually Team Red. Yeah. <laughs> he's a plant from AMD. <laughs> So I don't actually apologize. I actually claim that I'm vindicated by this coming <laughs> forward. Boom, bomb, yeah. And then you go, you run yeah. away. That this is actually what I've been saying all along. Yeah, you stick to your guns. Yeah, I've never claimed that AMD had, was, yeah. was not <laughs> Prove me wrong. Well, the heat that yeah. causes all the stickers yeah. to peel off. Like, yeah, well, he just, no, he's been, he was a plant from AMD to try to coax yeah. out people to say yeah. things oh bad God. about AMD. Wow. I've I always it. stood by my stance yeah. that AMD is the premium product. And then he gets like, and he pulls out his wallet and it's a bunch of AMD dollars yeah. and he's like, yeah, they're AM dollars. That yeah. Intel is inferior. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I love that. That's really good. <laughs> that is really good. All right. For Mike's. Oof. Oh man, this is hard. I got to yeah. think of a good one. I've said a lot of stupid things, so <laughs> I, it's kind of, it's a little impossible if you can find something I haven't already said about myself or how I, felt. How I feel. <laughs> he was, he was arrested for starting a cult. No, I think the thing with Mike is. A As a, yeah, you're a false prophet, dude. You're the Spice Lord. I think Mike accidentally leaves the stream on one day. Okay. And what, we, and what we find out is he fills these hot sauce bottles with regular Tabasco. Oh, that isn't no. Spicy hold at on. All. It's with ketchup. ketchup. With ketchup, right? It's not spicy at all. Oh, I thought you were going to I thought you were gonna oh, go yeah. someplace even darker. Like, no, I can't. No. I was thinking about it. Yeah. What I was actually going to say is Mike leaves the cam on and walks by it when he comes out of the shower and you realize his blue streak is actually uh, temporary and not permanent. Yeah. Well, like I have like a bottle. Yeah, there, it just like, washes temporary. out when washes. you get in the shower. Oh my god! <laughs> and then we all know. Spray can the Halloween spray. Yeah. Of not blue. only is he lying about the spicy yeah. salsa, but he also is oh, not the yeah. blue stream. I have actually done that. I have left my stream up. I've done it too. Am I, I don't sleep on my so stream. I'm a double yeah. liar? Is that what yeah. you're? You're double liar. Double scandal. I'm sorry. I nailed oh, you, Michael Posers. Right. Yeah. 
Um, I would I would be willing to believe Mike that, 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 that Mike's not even playing these games. That that it's actually Black Cat playing the games instead, doing mm. much better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're, like, let, yeah. They're, they're let's plays from YouTube. Yeah. 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 I just have like I just put an overlay on it, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I almost died. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing good here. That's yeah. awesome. That is um, awesome. I don't yeah, know. that would be a good scandal. Yeah, yeah. That that would be a legitimate like shady kind of dick move. If you were just... if, if you were just if you just had other people's gameplay on yeah. that, because you play single player games, so it's not be easy to yeah. pick. Uh, well, that's now I'm a yeah. three part liar. The YouTube yeah. crashes and he's like, oh no, hold on. Yeah. it was my turn. I'll do the blue hair and the spicy yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Uh, Dude, stack them up, bro. I think at that point I would have to apologize. I literally would have to go. I'm sorry. I, you know, obviously I've lied to you all. Uh, and uh, let's go through another. Uh, let's, let's. Bad strat. Bad strat. And I go. Let's try again. Uh, I'll permanently dye my hair blue, and let's go ahead and you know retry those hot sauces. But I'll do it all over again. Oh, so he's gonna Good double strat. down. Good yeah. strat. I so like then, that. So then I go. You know what? You're totally right. Let's try it for reals, and then I keep on doing it. But this time I double make sure that my stream isn't on. Yeah. And then I go. I, hey, I really did it this time. It's a live you can stream. Never, to you'll the never store prove it. Yeah. The hot sauce. It's a, it's a typical shyster <laughs> move yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. It's all. It's all like sleight of hand. Yeah. So he's like, here, I'm. I'm removing the seal. And now I'm, I'm opening it up and puncturing the foil top. Yeah. And it was, you had injected it. But earlier. I've already doubled down and you can't tell at this yeah. point. So it's pretty good. You had resealed it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. I, yep. I love doing these Tekken Arounds. Um, I don't want to play games anymore. Let's just do this. We're not gamers anymore. Yeah. That's that's the scandal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the whoa. scandal. That's all. That's our big scandal. That's the scandal. New plays. You guys weren't actually gamers. Before. Yeah, that's the scandal. You guys don't even play games. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll Fool check you, you guys uh, this Fool Friday. You. We're going to be playing. Uh, actually, when I say we're going to be Psych. playing, yeah. I kind of feel like it's going to be Dennis playing. Yeah. Uh, VR. I hate that game. VR. Uh, what's is it scary games game? It Paranormal is. Activity? Paranormal Activity. Dang. It's going to be me, Bill, and Tony freaking out in front of a camera crying. while <laughs> well, crying. We're really playing that again? Yeah, we are. Yeah, that's I good love. Game. I miss VR. I, I hate VR. VR. This is great. It's gonna be like Halloween all over again. I know. Yeah. So I've uh, while we've been talking, I've actually chosen a guy that we can host who's doing some retro gaming right now, some huh. uh, some Mega Man. So uh, let's go ahead and raid this dude. Oh, do it. Oh, spam your emotes. Give him some new egg shout out love. Let him know that. Hey yo, Newegg. tell him that new egg sent you, or and to buy all your stuff at new egg. All right, raid happen now. Bye. See you guys later. Darcy Bye. Egg.